What is going on, everybody? Parry Manilow here with the boy IFC Yipes. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing good, man. We are good. We, we're here for the Marvel Snap, Crackle, and Pop, baby. The meetup here in Brooklyn. Yes, sir. This is the first of many, of course. I'm not going to say exactly what's the schedule here, but that does not matter because we're here in a moment of time to enjoy some Marvel Snap. I'm very excited, of course. Perry Manilow. Listen, we've been talking online for a hot minute. You a big fan of the FGC. For sure, man. I've yeah. been... F FGC adjacent for over a decade now. I've been watching for years. Evos, Brooklyn events, next level battle circuit, all that stuff, man. I've been here since the Chinatown Fair days. So I'm here. I'm ready to spread some of that love to the Marvel Snap community. I know you're a big FGC head, one of the OGs. So I don't want to take too much away from you here. But we are here for Marvel Snap today. We have a lot of great competitors here. This is the first tournament post Thanos nerf. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see what we're going to be seeing, what decks are going to take the top spot here, and I am just pumped to see some in-person Marvel Snap mind games, some competition, growing this scene, man. Yeah, man. Look, uh, so one thing, shout out to the Marvel Snap Cash Boys uh, for putting this together, of course, Brookland for, you know, becoming that conglomerate just to give us a hub, a, a spot, a location to play Marvel Snap. Sure. This is what makes it interesting, right? We're so used to playing the game online. We see so many of our favorite content creators, et cetera, et cetera. Some of our own friends that play the game, right? It's kind of six that are online, but the fact that we can actually come together as a scene to do it offline, it actually makes it that much more enjoyable. I'm seeing tables out here. I'm actually thinking it's going to be uh, actual, actual cards. cards coming out on the, on table. the table but Some no it's, -Oh shit. yeah it's literally <laughs> iphones and androids which is kind of crazy yep. but you know what we're gonna do it what, 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 what we're gonna deal with what we have and make it happen so everybody can enjoy some marvel snap in person offline that's kind of crazy me saying that i shit. know it's crazy it's great it's just uh, the community of this game is the best part of it in my opinion that's what keeps me coming back um i have met some great people through this game yourself included just being able to get on stream being able to take this game that is purely online and bring it to that face-to-face -face interaction. You can't beat that. You can't beat the face-to-face -face interaction. That's why I love fighting games so much. That's why yeah. I love the arcade scene so much. Just there's nothing quite like being able to look at your opponent after you just put the smack down on. Yo, and listen, and um <laughs> that's that puts a cheese on my face because honestly, I do want to see those reactions. All right, here we go. And look at that. We're right into it here. We have Pogo Sparky up against Cat. I'm assuming that is how you pronounce her name. Cat K4T. So Looks like we have a bit of Dark Hawk action. Mm, going very here. rare. Very you know, rare to see these days. Yeah. Ever since the uh, the big old nerf to Dark Hawk, and we have a bit of a discard gamer. I qu I'm not quite sure who's running what here. It looks like discard is on the bottom here. Yeah, I think, well, actually, no, that's a good point. I don't know who's who, but uh, you know what? I like that. I'm a part of the life of video games where you have to guess a lot, which is fighting games, but that's not here what we're representing, guys. This is Marvel Snap. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all don't know the rules, listen, you got to take over two out of three of the locations. Hell, all three. I like to call it an ace Ooh. if you can get all three locations covered. But, hey, get two out of the three in terms of power. You will win. I mean, I mean we're going to explain it. I'm pretty sure there's people that's going to uh, watch as the tournament goes on. For but, sure. Yeah. They'll pick it up. They'll pick it up. Okay, perfect. So we've just been informed that Cat is playing the discard list, and Pogo is playing the Darkhawk list with Elsa. It looks like a bit of a, a Darkhawk uh, Kitty Pride Angela list here. So we'll take it. I, I like it. I like it. A bit of disruption with the, the rock slide. Mm-hmm. Let me throw some garbage in your hand, yeah, huh? Yeah, just stuffing that deck full of rocks. That always feels bad when you draw the rock. So far, it looks like Kat has gotten lucky and not drawn any of the rocks so far. She's rocking hella, too. Yeah, man. Listen, gr uh, congratulations, Angela, coming back. Welcome back from the dead, baby. Welcome back to the dead. Now she gets two power every time you interact with her, which is very nice. And, of course, look at this combination already with the whole Summer's Kitty Pride. The you know, it's kind of cool that they got us in the room. They can't hear us. Yes, they can't hear us out here. <laughs> they have no idea. I hope they don't hear us out here, <laughs> or else that would be a huge advantage but getting the lane stack there with the angela hope summers and kitty pride so you're getting that extra energy every time kitty pride hits that lane you have to play here on turn five because of avengers compound so dropping the kitty pride you're going to boost that angela up to power every single time and you're also stacking that energy on top of that hope summers lane well you so, know you know what gets me even more uh excited What's that? It's the fact, look Look how stressed they are. Like, obviously, they're excited <laughs> they play Marvel Snap, but, you know, they still got that same thinking face that we got when we're playing. Oh, for sure. So this is freaking awesome. I'm here connecting with the scene, y'all. The gambit. The gambit. Ooh, this is going to get some huge value here, knocking out the Hope Summers. Mm, you know what? Better hope than Angela, I'll say. Until I would say end, so. Yeah. I would say so. You lose the energy cheat, but you do have that 10 power Angela looking mighty juicy here. 
Now, this is a discard list that was running Shang. I saw Shang in the hand. I don't think Shang is in the hand anymore. So we got Darkhawk. I'm pretty sure she's going to play Darkhawk on the left. I mean, obviously, that's her only choice, really. And then just finish it off with a good old uh, Angela in the middle. Of, not Angela, excuse me, uh, Kitty Pride. Yeah, I, I imagine Kitty Pride's going to be going down in the middle lane here. Uh, didn't get the Elsa down, so not getting the full Kitty Pride buff that you would normally get once you have that lane stack. The ideal stack, you have Angela, you have Elsa, you mm -hmm. have Hope Summers, and then every time you play in that lane, you're getting plus two on Angela, you're getting plus two on the Kitty from the Elsa buff, and you're getting that plus one energy Ooh. from Hope Summers. But there's the Shang-Chi! That's the China man right there. That is Shang-Chi. <laughs> Shang-Chi! Damn, son, you think, you know what's crazy? So... You the, never expect Shang Chi. You never, discard. especially in a discard deck. On top of that, that's kind of uh, Shang Chi-y, if you will. Very cheesy. <laughs> I there. got a lot of dad jokes, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Cat takes the first round there, taking two cubes off Pogo with a well-timed Shang Chi. How could you possibly expect that in discard? Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, you're going into an open tournament at an offline. A lot of people going to be ramping up big cards, right? Yep. And Turns the big energy, so. Again, this is the first list, this is the first tournament, first competitive event after the Thanos nerf. Thanos was on top of the meta for a long time. Facts. Just straight up dominating tournaments. So it's going to be curious. It's going to be interesting to see what we see in this tournament here. You know what I can appreciate, though? What's that? Even though the character just came out fresh, I actually expected to see a lot more Red Hulks. But looks like everybody's sticking to their guns and rocking what they've been rocking with, climbing on the Conquest side of things. For sure, for or sure. Or ranked. But either or, though, I'm not complaining. I mean, from the world that I come from, uh, I don't complain on, on uh, certain character cards. I think the only one I really hated in my lifetime was Leech. Leech. First Leech, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But other than that, everything is fair to me. Okay, we're going for the adjacent location power. We're going to Crown City. There's a lot of kings and queens over here. Gambit, who are you going to get rid of? I'll be aiming for the Jeff. Yep, Jeff would be the ideal hit here. Going to pump the uh, the Dark Hawk with the Rock Slide. Two rocks in the deck now. Really trying for that Asgard lane. Mm. Does take out the Jeff indeed. Nice call. Yes, sir. They if I had a choice, that would be the choice. Going to oh. have to do something here if they want to win the Asgard lane, though. Captain Marvel, certainly a contender. But if they play on the left, then the... Looks like Pogo is going to have to play left in order to keep that Asgard as well. But they don't. They play all mid. I actually would have hit mid if I was uh, Pogo Sparky, man, just to get that Asgard. I mean, what, what is it, four? He would have had a five. He would have had nine, right? He would have won the middle lane. Uh, yeah, and then the Captain Marvel would have been able to move afterwards. So not really committing too much when you play Captain Marvel. She can just fly over wherever you want. I know, I don't know about you, but Danger Room is my least favorite location in this game. You know what? I only get confident with that location depending on the card I have. So if I have, like, Nebula, I'm throwing it on there every single time. Yeah, like a that's, a, that's a risk worth taking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, turn right. Turn one, you throw it on there. It's much worse on turn six when you're looking to play that final card <laughs> to win the game, and you're just praying to the snap gods. Please don't be 25%. Yo, yo but look at this, though. We got a nice, uh, so you said Cat is at the top, right? She's the discard? Cat is the discard player, okay, okay. I believe, and Pogo is playing the Silky Smooth list here. Well, Pogo, let me tell you something. You have a nice hand in your hand. Wow, goes for the spy. What? Oh, I thought you picked Spider-Man, excuse me. No Hope Summers for the play, interesting. What? And how much energy do they have there? What turn is this? That is a good question. I was trying to figure that out myself. I believe this is turn five now, because the Asgard goes off on turn four. So this is turn five. Go for the power Hell cow comes down, Hella out, but she does have the Ghost Rider still in hand, so there is a possibility to bring that Hella back with the Ghost Rider. Very risky, though. Yo, I go lie, this music be hitting. Let me for tell sure. you something. I usually have my phone or <laughs> my actual client on Steam. I know. Music muted with, with, with you know, with some tracks in the background, but the, the horns kind of <laughs> hit, though. It's been a while. Oh, Ghost Rider. That's a safe bet on the Danger Room. Even that if Ghost Rider gets yes. eliminated, at least the card that he brings out. Definitely the card you want to play on Danger Room. Uh, but snap back. So we're locking in for eight cubes here if they indeed decide to go with this. So this is going to be a huge swing here. Yes, man. The snap back. And we ain't wearing no hats. Yes. You're yeah. wearing a hat. I don't. I'm, I'm, I got a big ass head, so I can't wear those type of hats. <laughs> I, my minimal. hats are quite big. Don't you worry. I it's got a all big right. head myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Just throwing it out there. We got our first pause of the evening, folks. Look at this. Yeah, you're in New York. You're going to hear a couple of those. <laughs> Brooklyn City. Look at Kat, though. It's like, even though she's confident in her moves, even though she does have a very big lead in terms of power. <sighs> That's a big risk, though. I mean, the Ghost Rider is no guarantee to bring Hella back. She's taking a huge risk here. Yo, with that, you going to get Hella, girl. You going to get Hella. Watch this. Straight from the depths of hell. <laughs> F Odin. Let's go, baby. That's a fire variant, too, by the way. <sighs> Kim Jacinto, Kim Jacinto, excuse me. 
Yes. Filipino. Very good artist. Very good artist. I love the Dark Hawk. Oh my brood. god. Here we go. Woo! Oh, she doesn't get the hella. She gets the Enchantress. We get a little of power. Of course, the Ghost Rider dies. This is not looking great here for Cat. Big old Dark Hawk comes out in the middle lane. That's going to be mid. And does Kitty survive with the right? Oh, oh shot! Damn! So heartbreaking. It's okay. It's all right, man. We've all been there before. I'm there every stream. The Danger Room is a hundred percent kill rate for me. It ain't twenty-five percent. Yeah. The game says twenty-five percent, but it's a hundred percent for me. So I feel the pain. Let me tell you something. To go out <laughs> on was, winners like that, and it's not a bad thing. It was a gamble. I needed to do that to actually win the location, to win the game, in fact, right? Because of the adjacent locations from uh, was that Crown City? Yes. So the fact that he went for the Danger Room uh, gamble was the play, but unfortunately that 25% actually kicked in. Very unfortunate for you, Pogo, but great for Kat. Moving forward, never backwards. She was even surprised. She probably thought it was she a two out of three. She had no idea. Yep, she had no idea. You love to see it. First game, a huge eight cuber to start things off. That's how we do things here at Brooklyn Snap Series. Yeah, man, I'm freaking chilling, bro. This is awesome. Again, uh, I never had the experience to really see this offline. I guess, uh, unless, of course, I'm playing with the homies, right? Sure, but sure. to have it in an event form is actually pretty sick, man. On a Saturday, come on, man. And I'm having some swigs, chilling, Brooklyn. You already know the vibe. Time, We're having a good time. Perry, what's up, man? Yo, we here, baby. <laughs> We here, baby. And I didn't even think, man, look at you guys. You got your studio set up right. Wow. Yeah, you guys can't see the full setup here, but they got the soundproofing on the walls. This ain't what I'm used to. I'm used to being in the basement, hearing the sirens outside, my washing machine's going off in the background. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this right now. We got some high-quality setups here. We got high-quality entertainment, high-quality matches, high-quality friendship. Yeah, man. We're it. I like that. Oh, uh, that go. quality friendship. We quality. Perry, we're friends now. That's right. I mean, we always been friends, but yeah, this is the first time we actually interacted in person, guys. So this is pretty sweet. Yeah, man. So yeah, man. The power of game and Marvel Snap, the meetups, the tournaments. We're gonna have more of these, of course. Shout out to the Marvel Snap podcast, of course. Mar is it Marvel Snap. Marvel Cast? Snapcast. Hosted by Super Tech God and Sino Montana. Apparently the, the, the self-proclaimed top five in the world. Top five in the world. Sino, 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 Sino. You'll be hearing from him later on in the stream today. Yipes and I will be taking you through the first half of the tournament. STG and Sino will be joining later on, taking you through the finale. Yeah, man. This is going to be interesting. Now, I got a couple of my... Well, I got one of my homies that's in this tournament. Okay. Uh, you know, he always uh, talk a lot of smack, a lot of caca saying, hey... If I ever get an opportunity to play offline, <laughs> let me know. I said, oh, really? Yeah. Here comes this tournament here on April 6th. Beautiful day, right? Hit him up. The dude Beautiful. was dead asleep, wiping the crust off his eyes. Like, hey, you remember that thing you told me about reminding you about a tournament? Well, here it is. And he actually showed up. So I'm very proud of the man. Just Greasy's in the building. Let's go. Yeah, yeah so. Got a lot uh, of homies here. We got uh, a bunch of other local, smaller Marvel Snap streamers. We got Gaming with Flash X here. We got... Uh, Super Tech God, Sino Montana, as I mentioned before. We got Speedy Snaps here. Nice. We got a bunch of other people. You know, you just love seeing the, the people showing up to your streams, meeting them in person, getting to play games together in person. It's a great thing. Yeah, man. Really great thing we're doing here. You know, the first thing I did, uh, so I walked in the room. I seen the setups. I seen everybody sat down and chilling. The first thing I said to myself was like, hey, you guys all play Snap? They, everybody said in unison, yeah, like it was in unison. It's crazy. So I said, so I want to smoke with all of y'all after this event. Oh, yeah. And everybody was like, hell yeah. Like, everybody was actually happy to play. So exactly. regardless of, like, who I am, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Well, we'll, so, be, running, we'll be running sets after the tournament. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. We're playing over we the ball. Play. Talk to me. We got to play at the bar. We got to eat some chicken fingers, play yeah, some man. snap, have a good time. Yeah, man. It's, it's going to be great. This is freaking awesome, man. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so we're going to take a quick little break. We'll be right back with some more Marvel Snap action here in Brooklyn. So please grab a snack, use the bathroom, whatever it is that you got to do. Go and take your time. We'll be right back with some more action. Me and Perry. Let's go. Around.
Welcome back, everybody. We are here at Brooklyn, the Snap Series. We have an in-person Marvel Snap tournament going. We saw an exciting first round. We had an eight-cube finish come down to Kitty Pride on the Danger Room. I don't know if I ever would have done that. Have you ever made a ballsy play like that in a tournament setting for you? <laughs> well, not in a tournament setting, but I think I would go for it, especially if it's a double elimination. But, no man, shit. that was one hell of a first match to uh, set the tone for the whole day. Well, man, let's not mess with Danger Room. No. There you have it. I think members. that has been served as a warning to everybody else at this tournament. Don't mess with Danger Room. No, no. I mean, look, the, the beautiful part about... So, I was talking about this with a couple of people that play Marvel Snap here. Uh, the beautiful thing about Marvel Snap is I can't see a situation where there's a player that can win, like, a tournament four or five times in a row. No and not to say that there's no skill involved in this. There is. But the RNG on the locations is pretty big. That's what actually kind of evens out the competition it a little bit. levels the playing field for sure. Right. So... It all depends on how the RNG is on your side on that day. You know, in, uh, where, in the world that I come from, it's all about the bracket and how healthy you are that day in terms of how solid you could stay the whole tournament. In this case, sharp. in this case, it's how solid your RNG is. So that's kind of crazy to say. It is. There is. There are days where you have everything going in your favor. You're hitting all the 50-50s. Your Hella is bringing back everything precisely where it needs to be. And then there are those days where you lose eight cubes to Danger One. Yeah, so, man. <laughs> I've been there. I've been on both sides. I've been on one side a lot longer than another side, but that is how the game goes. It is very different than fighting games for sure. Yeah. Hey, so uh, Mothership, I know you guys are out there and you guys have some full control of what's going on here. So just do me a favor. If you see a guy named Just Greasy in the bracket, just put him uh, on the stream for me, please, just for trolling purposes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Got to have the uh, the homies represented on the stream. Got to yeah. talk the shit. You got to. I got a few homies on here. I'll be talking some smack about as long as they show up, as long as they advance, do their job. Shout out to the Flash. So I'll tell you this, just to give you so, just to give you a little background story, right? So he's like, hey, man, you still you guys are still doing the Snap tournament. He hits me up. And I'm like, hell yeah, man. We're starting a little late, too. You know, we're just making more people, uh, we're making sure more people uh, join and stuff like that. So we kind of like pushed it to 3 o'clock. Get that he pop was like, bonus up, too. Exactly. Oh, yeah, the Match Arena, by the way, play that. Uh, put that link up there on the Brooklyn uh, side of things. I will be putting it in my channel as well. I think there is an... Uh, I actually think there is a command in my channel, twitch.tv slash IFC Yipes. It's exclamation point match arena. So if you want to donate to the pot for tonight, for all the players that are here involved, please do so. There's some codes to claim. And, you know, if, depending on how many people we have here, everybody can chip in a dollar, man. That's how I That's look it, at it. You know what I'm bit. saying? 50 cents. I'll even take a penny. I wouldn't even be upset about that. You know what I'm saying? It money all goes is to money the players. At the end of the day. But now he called me. He was like, hey, man, can I make it in time? I'm like, cool. So I was like, yeah, I'm on my way. He calls me while he's on the train. He's like, hey, man, should I rock Sandman today? <laughs> It was one of those things, and I was like, hey, look, bro, I don't know who got the red hoax out there, but if you don't have them, I'm going to I'm I'm assume that you're going to have an Elias or a Shang-Chi in there exactly. somewhere, right? Exactly. So, But that's how I know people are serious about competing. When, once when once the Sandman talk comes out, that's yeah. when you know people are playing for money. Yeah, yeah. No one wants to play Sandman because they enjoy playing Sandman. They're trying to win some money. You want to play more than one card per turn. Yeah. You don't want to play just one card. Who wants that? That's fact. And mind you, Ka uh, it's Kitty like playing Pride defense in fighting games. Right. Nobody that's, wants that. That's a fact. And mind you, Ka uh, Kitty Pride has been uh, represented already early. Yes, we've so seen that would Kitty be Pride. A big. That would be a big win for Just Greasy, depending on the matchup that lines up. But again, we haven't seen like the whole stratosphere of all the decks that's going to be ran today. Very true. I want to see something super random. Hell, give me a freaking. What's the old school uh, uh, control deck with freaking Sarah? Cosmo and to, and to destroy? Oh, you want to see some Spectrum Destroyer Spectrum, action? Spectrum, yeah, yeah. Give you want to see some old cool school. one Spectrum Destroyer yeah, yeah. action? You want to see Warpath out there? Yeah, yeah. Let me get let me get season one pack. Let me get the get, get the Captain America Blue Marvel oh, meta. Don't you know get me started on Captain America, man. I've been out here for months campaigning for a buff for Captain America. I'm all about the Captain America. That's my favorite Marvel character. I played him back in MVC three when he was ass, still ass, but. That's my boy, and seeing him done dirty in this game, man. And we yeah, actually heart. became uh, kind of broken. But um, no, we played that though. So the <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, um, so Captain America, I literally have about six splits and no ink or gold. Yep. So I'm just waiting for that one buff. If it ever happens, okay. That one buff where I could be like, all right, the character's good enough, the card's good enough, I where can I can actually, actually go boosters. for the split. Exactly. All right, we got an exciting matchup here. We have verbal. Okay. This is Illumi, I believe. I haven't seen the names just yet, but I'm just going based off my community knowledge here. I'd like to uh, represent the players well. Let's go, Illumi. Illumi rocking the X-Men sweater. Oh, uh, already represented the Spider-Ham. Wow. 
So Peter Porker coming down, taking out the Red Hulk. That's not going to be getting any more power the rest of this game. We have some spicy looking decks here. Another Craven Silk Kitty Pride list, so probably running Angela as well. Mm -hmm. The Silky Smooth list, as it's known. And it looks like the opponent here is running a Black Bolt Stature list. How do you feel about Black Bolt and Stature? currently I'm still. still played well depending on the decks but depending on the meta i mean obviously a morbius could be out there and just throw that pretty much out the window a lot of discard running around right now and black bolt does get rid of the kitty pride so you're already seeing some of that value from the project pegasus <laughs> getting the black bolt out there on turn two really no for sure now the fact that we got that much disruption the black bolt the spider ham the yep. yandu all in one shot with the ice man oh my god that's disgusting disgusting indeed i would actually say put the vision over on the stark tower let him linger on turn four maybe get that extra possibly. plus two power as well from the stark tower so i'm a big fan of craven vision silk it's actually one of my main decks if i was if i was cool to enter today i would have played that version for sure for that's sure. a deck that has seen a lot more play ever since the angela buff came back on thursday she was buffed to the uh the two zero plus two every time being played there uh and of course craven silk the spider people all work pretty well together mm. bottom player making some decisive moves here no thought whatsoever just playing them cards out Damn, I kind of don't agree with just putting Hope, Summers, and Spider-Man in the middle. All, all for the strength that... Well, I mean, there's still space for uh, Vision and Silk, right? Still a little bit of space, yeah. Look, like we backed off. See, there you go. We want some space for Vision and Silk. Okay, but exactly. The Stark Tower, Power of First. I would... I would for me, I'll put the Miles Morales on the Stark Tower. That's just me. How you feel? I would go probably Miles on the Stark Tower. Do you think they're going to play right to move the Silk? Apparently, they do. So the Silk's going to hopefully buff Craven here, get some value. Cable stealing another card. Yandu taking out the Jeff. And Iceman hitting nothing because that uh, Spider-Hammed Hulk is already maxed out at six. Yes. Spider-Ham cannot, or Iceman cannot buff a card over six energy. Or I guess nerf a card over six energy. Affect a card to be over six energy. Final turn here. Or no, I'm sorry. This is turn five now. No, you're good. We're going to be getting the, the buff from Stark Tower. So anticipate players piling up on the left. Okay, so we're prioritizing getting Craven buff. But okay, we take that back and we put the vision for the plus two in Stark Tower. That's what I would do. Vision and I'll, plus two. Now I wonder if he's trying to clog up. Oh, this will be good if he pulls this to the left. Oh, Spider-Man goes the right, moving the cable to the right as well. No buff from the Stark Tower, unfortunately. Silk gets out of there. Craven gets the buff, but they're locked up mid now. Until Spider Ham comes down, hitting the the Red Hulk once again. Silk pops out of there. Vision gets the buff. Now he is open for Shang Chi, though is the question. But I don't see no Shang Chi on both ends. Oh, shit, I spoke too soon. You spoke too soon, yeah. I didn't want to put that in the end. I swear I didn't want to put that in the end. Now it's all about can we get the right call to punish that Vision? Let's see what happens. The guessing game is real with the Shang Chi. But do you go the Shang Chi or do you just drop that eleven power pig sitting there in the hand to try and win the lane instead of the Shang Chi? Uh, and I actually, think, now that I, I look at this. it, I think the Shang-Chi is actually in the same hand as the uh, the ham player. Or the, the ham pig. So there is nothing to Shang-Chi. I like this, actually. I like this. Let me see. So just, uh, just uh, so Verbal's on the top, right? I believe Verbal is on the top. Okay. Okay, okay. just to make sure. Sorry, sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. So Lumi... This is Well, not... to, to, to clarify, the hand is on the top. The, the state of the board currently, Illumi is on the top of the board. There you go. That's what I want to know. There you yes. go. We, we, just to clarify there. It gets a little confusing. Yeah, on I'm our glad board. you knew. I'm glad you knew what I was talking about. I'm yeah, trying yeah. here. I'm trying. No, no, no. You're doing. I got to keep up. You're doing. Now you're doing great. See, Arici, I was just about to call that out. All right. So we had a retreat here from Verbal. Verbal did not feel comfortable going up against the remaining hand of Illumi, and it should be... I think it was Illumi that retreated. Was it Illumi that yeah. retreated? Yeah, seen the, seen the bars on the right. Yeah, she just lost two cubes. Well, excuse me. No, you're good. Yes, Illumi did retreat there. Didn't feel comfortable going up against that Red Hulk. Mm. spider Ham already. That's so annoying on turn one. I'll take a turn two or three. Just let it. Let me linger with my card for a minute. Let, let me at least enjoy the yeah, artwork enjoy before it turns into that fat, ugly pick. All right, let me enjoy the variant. <laughs> for real. Look at that. Holding the glizzies. <laughs> Gotta be a New York staple. You like that? <laughs> oh. Craven, uh, I don't know. Or two Craven's not that bad, but you're clogging the middle potentially. But let's see how it works out, though. It's always rough with the Sinister London when you're playing move decks because that board space is at a premium right now. <laughs> Yanked. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, the cable play. That's Pulling the Red Hulk. That is crucial. 
Nathan Summers doing God's work, taking two cards from Verbal. Disrespectful. Yeah, that's right. They got the Red Hulk and the Stature. I think that is a dub, in my opinion. I would say that's probably a snap as well. But but that Shang-Chi exists, right, on for Sinister London? The Shang-Chi does Shang exist. That is true. It's a hard thing to deal with. So we got uh, we got Verbal dropping the Silk and the Kitty here. Okay, I like that from uh, Illumi. Opting for more space for the Sinister London, putting whole Summers all the way to the left. Yep. Going to have to play on that lane to get any benefit now, though. Let and that is going to be a, a pretty shongable target. Facts. That's, that's, <laughs> that's one location that is just begging for Mr. Chi to come down. Yep. Mm, you want to taste some ten rings? You want to taste that fucking iron? <laughs> Pardon my language. My goodness. Is this esports? We ain't esports out Thank here. you. This is Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn! <laughs> oh, Perry! Talk to them! That's what I like to see. I want to feel right at home. This ain't esports. This ain't Vegas. This, this shit is, is this shit is, this shit is. It's amazing. I don't ever get to hear this music. This shit is. <laughs> I love how it gets more intense, too. When yes. the play's about to go down, they dial up the volume. Mix the, yo, please, please uh, milk these, uh, was it Tesseracts? Oh, yes, the Tesseract. That's the Tesseract. Cosmic right? Cube. The Cube? Milk these Tesseracts. I want to see more Marvel Snap. Okay, yeah, get up out of the middle lane. That was pretty That, that was, was nice. pretty good considering that he didn't have Pryo, right? Yes. To force the Silks to get out of there. But now, locked up on the right. We do have one more turn before Ooh. the Strange Academy takes off. So all those cards on the right lane are going to be distributed throughout the left and the middle lanes here. They mm -hmm. are chosen at random, so it could fill the lane. Uh, I imagine that they're going to want to keep Jeff down there to... Provide a bit more flexibility after those cards move. You can just move Jeff out of that lane, buff the Craven a little bit, and uh, play some other stuff over there, even if they do get locked up. I'm loving the Doc Ock play. Doc Illumi. Ock is filthy. Ill Illumi's rocking this one right here. Yes. Okay. Illumi, that was a great play. I think I will let that rock. I will let that simmer. Yo, this music, I feel like I I I'm running from somebody that I owe money to. <laughs> Do, 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 do. That's the part where you look around and see right. somebody's looking for you. Do, 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 Checking do, back do, do, over do. the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody watching me? <laughs> Anybody chasing me? Come here. This is Doc Ock, baby. Oh, shit. Hold on. Am I saying that too loud? Too loud, dude. Too loud. Sorry, Don't sorry, spoil sorry. it for him. Sorry. Who's his opponent? Okay, bring him in. Oh, but it's just one card, though. You know what? That's not bad. At least you get 10 power, regardless. Yeah, it is still 10 power. Look at that shame. Doc Ock always has a tendency to pull down Mr. Chi, though. Oh, pull up Chi. That's right. Not this time, though. But the copy. Oh, gets the free pig on the board, and then Doc Ock is going to pull the Shang-Chi here. So Doc Ock, one of them, takes a seat. But check this out, though. Because the card wasn't played on pig, Silk doesn't move. So this kind of sucks a Now, little. the Doc Ock was played on Silk, so the Silk does move. Craven goes middle here. Oh, so this is a Reynolds. I feel like we need to... Because we have Rojo Hulk. That's Rojo Hulk. Rojo Hulk. I see this Rojo Hulk. <laughs> Rojo Hulk. That Hulk is extremely <laughs> Rojo. That joint is... Da, 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 da. Although they have been playing... This is a, a decent counter here with Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride allows you to use that extra energy so you're not floating for Red Hulk. Yo, Kitty but, Pride is kind of that filler where you can just always play her out. Make sure you curve out properly. This way the Red Hulk doesn't get way too big. Only capped at 15 here. Still a beast. Still a very strong card to play. But uh, not nearly as big as he's capable of getting. Looks like we're not even going to see the Red Hulk come down here. I or no, we are. This Red, Red Hulk, Hulk might eat. Look at it, Loomis. Like, oh, please, don't play no un unspent energy. Do we actually have unspent energy on? We do, huh? It looks like both ends might have unspent energy. Yeah, here, we got a bounce. We do see a retreat. So Verbal is out. Escape. Not able to deal with that Red Hulk. Illumi is trying not to smile too much. Feeling good? <laughs> Listen, that blue moon told, the, told, told Verbal, hey, hold on. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, Mothership. Amazing job. Go. Excellent job with the Mothership. Getting the names down there, making it a bit easier for us to keep track of. And for you guys at home, watching here on IFC Yipes channel or Super Tech God's channel. Yes. Appreciate y'all for being here. Yes, I appreciate you, Perry, to chilling with your boy, man. This is fire right man, here, my guy. Yes, I would never, I would rather be nowhere else today except here at Brooklyn. That's it. Casting some Marvel Snap, meeting up with some homies, having a good time. Yeah, that blue moon was telling Verbal, hey, man, I think she stole your uh, your Red Hulk, Brody. <laughs> I think it's time for you to, re to retreat. 
Now, this is the match that I want to see. I want you guys to really experience the stress of Marvel Snap. And I'm not even saying that in a bad way. It's more so that these guys are trying to make calculated decisions. In a game full of randomness. Yes! For example, this Westview location. It says turn into a new location on turn four. That could turn into anything. Mm -hmm. Are you going to play cards there knowing that this could turn into bar with no name? It could turn into Gamma Lab and all of a sudden your cards become Hulks. There is just so much to keep track of when you're trying to play this game competitively. You always have to think on your toes. And that is what our players are doing right here. I right respect now. the gin on the Gamma Lab. That's how you're supposed to do it, yes? I and mean, that's how you turn zero power, zero cost, one power, into 12 power. Yeah. I actually kind of like using it as a bait in this situation right here. It's just to bait out the Shang-Chi. Now, of the course. question is, how fast is Illumi going to use this Shang-Chi? Definitely need to use it in the clutch. Well, Illumi knows that uh, there's a Doc Ock that could pull that Shang-Chi down. Facts for free. So perhaps you want to hold on to that Shang-Chi, bait out the Doc Ock. Let the Silk get out of there! The Silk go. is going to get out of there because of the Jin. So one Hulk on both sides here. We have Kitty doing her thing, getting buff. Angela's already at four power. Those Jins are going to take up some board space, but they will come in handy with some extra energy. I wonder if we're going to see any more if we're going to see Hope Summers here because of these gins. That's a fact. It's overkill at this point. But hey, if you actually do plan to play all your cards, by all means. But again, you have to read your opponent a little more. But we're, we're what, like about four cubes in, three cubes in, yeah. right in the match. So They should both have a pretty good idea exactly. of what their decks are looking like right now. We don't have the full deck list here on the board. There's only so much real estate on the screen here. But we do have the hands. It looks like we have uh, Illumi. Getting hit by the Black Bolt here. Kitty Pride down. That is actually a great play against Kitty Pride. Black Bolt targets the lowest cost card in your opponent's hand. So that is oftentimes going to be Kitty Pride here. And unfortunately for Illumi, she does lose the Kitty Pride. Getting some extra energy here from the Jin and the Hope Summers. So Illumi is looking at a mighty big uh, turn here. Not a whole lot to play but plenty of energy to do so if she desires. Facts. Look at this. Both players rocking with 10 energy on turn 5 right now. Now you got to make a decision, right? Do you actually want to give Angela that 10? Right? That is a good question because you know Shang-Chi exists. You know that's a big old target. You're going to have to play there eventually, but when do you decide to do it? I think you just have to go ahead and buff up that Angela and hope you don't hit, get hit by the Shang-Chi here. Wait, what turn is this? This is turn 5. Okay, okay, okay. Are we trying to clog the lane? So I'm assuming the Spider-Man mid... Uh, Spider-Man mid ain't going to go right. It's going to go left facts. because they clogged up the right with the uh, the Silk and the Miles here. So I think it's just a hard assumption thinking that one of these locations is about to be clogged. So just to make it easier with Spider-Man, just lock it out completely. Right. We'll see, though. Oh, this music is fire, bro. That just said... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's been a while since I heard this. I, I promise know. you. It's been a minute. Doo -doo 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 Look at Jeff. Ha! <laughs> Move me! Opting to go with the Shang-Chi on the right here. Taking out the Hulk early. So, Spider-Man... Oh, fell on the board. Is this turn six? Or is this turn five? This I might be turn six, but if it is turn five, this is kind of cheeky here. If it's, if it's turn five, then... That's definitely a choice to lock yourself up and not play any more <laughs> cards the rest of the game. I just said... This is five... What? This is five Cajones Malone? Ding, bing, bing. You know what? This is a bit of a gamble, though. Who? Wa pow! Uh, Shang Chi comes out, knocking out the Hulk <laughs> on the right side for verbal. You see that? Oh, did y'all hear me? <laughs> Yo, that boy Shang Chi be dead in dreams, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's that snake traveling up your locations, kid. I'm just, I'm just confused here at the the Man. play from Illumi. That was, you know She's what? This might be genius. She's not able to play anything the rest of the game. Does she think that verbal oh. has enough? Oh, we got a Shang Chi, bro. Oh. Wait, we might have had oh, nah. some sort of issue here. It looks like verbal was signaling for a ref, perhaps. I think he wants another drink because there's a lot of stress. <laughs> oh my God, some of that. All right, that we have Tio stepping over here. Oh my God, that Hulk is about to get busy, son. That Hulk is about to disintegrate, no? Well, no, Illumi has no more space on the board to play the Hulk. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about Verbal. Oh. I, think it's, I think he got a Shang-Chi play. So <laughs> I'm laughing because it looks like he's asking the ref, hey, is this a good play here? Right. So you imagine asking, hey, should I play Dr. <laughs> Dr. Octopus? Right? Oh, my God. And oh, there is oh. the first Shang-Chi taking out the right lane. 
Big Hulk goes down. Doc Ock will win the middle lane. Nothing comes down. Very interesting play there by Illumi. <laughs> I don't know if she didn't realize it was turn five or not. She probably banked that he didn't, he didn't have, have the Shang-Chi. Yeah, he just had nothing in his hand. But to be I fair... Think he did top deck the Shang-Chi, to be fair. But to be honest, I don't remember Verbal playing Shang-Chi. Maybe I forgot. No, I don't think... I think that was the first time we've seen the Shang-Chi so from don't. Verbal. We've seen Illumi's already. Okay, so Illumi got some data now that Verbal got what we like to call... Oh, so we got that deck. Damn, not kidding. No! Yes. This is the disruption list running the Black Bolt stature package instead. Karmatage. Oh, this is very rough for Illumi here. On reveal effects happen twice at this location. Yes, yeah, so you're going to see double Gladiator, I would anticipate, on that middle location. Oh destroying God. two cards. Illumi's deck. You got to hope it pulls the Red Hulk. Absolutely. Absolutely. That team getting shot up. Glad TA. The only time I seen him was in the X-Men series. Yes. Oh, my God. Cartoon. Jeff. Go right, right, right. Jeff oh, out. Je Jeff's gone. Who's next? Ah, let me reserve And the there he is, the free red hole coming out from the Gladiator. An unfortunate pull there for Verbal. But see, the thing is, Verbal got Shang Chi, so don't even matter, dog. And then the thing is, he's on the same lane as Angela. That's a double yeah, whammy. That this is a double whammy. Tough. That Angela ain't gonna get too big. No kitty either for Illumi. So she's gonna have to rely on other cards to buff that Angela up. Man, I don't agree on that Craven on the right, man. Yeah, I think I probably would have gone left. Craven left here. Oh. The Tarnax also, you never know what's going to get pulled out of here. Oh, Ooh. that's a dub! Wow. Woo, that middle That hot. is very dangerous now. The Shang-Chi out of Illumi's deck with no value. Unfortunate. The Swordmaster, though, I didn't see what the Swordmaster discarded uh, from the Tarnax there. Let's go, baby. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Come here! We got, that's a different game, Max. We got no, we got no scorpion out here. No, no, right. no, I'm going with the music. Oh, okay. Oh, come here. Yeah, right. Boss. I thought That's you were doing part of me, combat part of me. Shit. I forgot. All right, so Black Bolt goes mid, deleting Illumi's hand. Illumi has no cards left now. The Black Bolt on the Kamartage is just brutal. Illumi struggling here. Still winning all lanes on the final turn, but relying on the top deck here, which is no cards, actually. There are no cards left in Illumi's deck. <laughs> They have been eliminated via Yandu, Gladiator, and Black Bolt. So we're just in spectator mode here. And obviously, Karmataj just made it worse. Yeah. I agree with that. And Verbal forced to retreat because Illumi had enough stuff on the board. The mill, that is the problem with mill decks. It's able to delete those decks, but it can't generate that much power. Look how rubbing my hands like, yeah, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I'm, yeah, loving, the, I'm loving the X-Men hoodie. Oh, man. Yo, Mothership, stop mixing me up, bro. Mothership. What the is, hell is uh, wrong with you, man? For this. All right, so Verbal <laughs> is now in the right spot. So we got, that oh. makes sense. Okay, sorry about that, folks. We That's out here. Right, though. We got a few drinks in us already. I love it, man. Listen, and when he says drinks, we're talking about H2O, I promise you. Yes, definitely nothing but water here. Man, I love Staying water. Staying hydrated. All right, mm. Raft, Death's Domain, and Eternity Range are our three locations for this battle. Looking like uh, Verbal might be able to to get the Raft before Illumi, depending on what these cards play out here. Red Hulk. Oh, oh the Kitty Pride taken out by the Gladiator. Unfortunate here. Ooh, that's an actual dub. Now, do you actually want to sacrifice something to remove Silk from Death Domain? I feel like that's going to be the end game here, but we'll see. They also can, Verbal, or Illumi can get into Death's Domain with Vision. Vision, yeah. So, he doesn't necessarily have to play anything into Death's Domain. Could just play Vision, move it in there. Uh, but Verbal is going to be able to get into mid as well with the Jeff. So... Both of them have some options to get into mid here. Neither of them really competing for the raft all that much yet. It looks like it's gonna probably gonna go to verbal here. And we got Jeff on the left. This is beautiful for the raft. We're good. Let me, yeah. get, let me get that free card, please. Now, who is it though? Watch, watch get some whack like a, uh, like destroyer. We're gonna get destroyer. We're gonna get like like you know what? Galactus. I'm calling Ultron. Ooh, Ultron. Would, watch uh, this. I mean, Ultron. Ultron might not be too bad with the Death Stone, man. You're not gonna have too many cards Gosh, showing up. A we're, free zero eight too. We're gonna get. You know what? I'm calling it now. It's gonna be an onslaught. Okay, onslaught. Oh, you moved it. I would have moved the end game. Get, no, 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 keep, keep it. No, keep it. Yeah, get I think the they, card. I think they need to get the free card here. I don't think you want to move Jeff out of raft. Okay, they move the Jeff out before the raft triggers. Interesting. Are we I actually gonna bring that mid? Oh no. Okay. So oh, not bad, not bad. The beast goes mid. We're looking at uh, 13 power mid here for verbal. 
None of them are really playing for Raft at this point. Spider-Ham takes out the Shang-Chi, though. Now, Illumi is only running... I think the only thing that's a, a Shang target for Illumi is the Doc Ock. So, Illumi is able to now play that Doc Ock without the worry of Shang-Chi. Of course, she does have to worry about the Red Hulk that she knows is in the opponent's hand. Facts. Correct. That's one of the biggest downsides of Red Hulk. You know exactly how much power your opponent has, and if it is in their hand because of that extra energy being spent. Or not being spent. Oh, so again, no one here for Raft. Illumi debating on whether she wants to play that Doc Ock, knowing the Shang-Chi is now a pig. She doesn't have to worry about losing that 10 power, but she does have to worry about pulling that big ol' Rojo Hulk down. Yes! Yes! Damn, that's... Yo, bro. So that's hard read. No Shang-Chi on Illumi's side, which is okay. I feel like on the next draw, it's probably on the top deck, I'm gonna be honest with you, on the top of the cards. Let's see. The Shang-Chi goes down, no hit, and that was the final turn as well. A big four-cube win for Verbal here. Victory. No mm. Red Hulk, so that is the mind games you can play when you have Red Hulk. You don't have to play him necessarily. She was anticipating the Red Hulk left, that's why she dropped the Shang-Chi, and Verbal smartly yes. did not play it, dodging the Shang-Chi. I see you, Perry! The four cubes there. I know a thing or two about Talk this game. shit! No, 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 I'll listen. I know a thing or two I about played, this game, yes. I played a game a lot, and I'm listening to you, I was like, yup. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I got like 2k hours in this game. You got, yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Listen, I've been out here. I appreciate Wakanda good calls. Wakanda forever seen. You know, I, I, I appreciate good calls, my brother. I appreciate you, man. All right, Yandu takes out the Kitty Pride again. Verbal not getting much value from his Kitty Pride here. Illumi just sniping things. Yo, from watching this angle of everybody's cars getting pulled, right? Yep. Hey, listen, their cars is just getting stolen. I don't know what it is. I'm just... It's like, where do these it's, cards wind I'm up? It's just disappearing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes out from the hand. Where does it wind up? All right, Verbal here. Not to interrupt you, brother. You have an IG? Uh, not on IG. It's well, okay. I, I am on IG. I don't use IG too much, but Perry Manila on IG. I'm mostly on Twitter. X. We got the Gladiator coming down mid here. Gladiator pulls Silk. A pretty solid pull there for Illumi. Knocking five power out of uh, Verbal's deck here. Hope Summer's on two, though. Very strong play. All the discounts coming from Elysium. So, Verbal's going to be able to play out a bunch of his cards here. Start buffing the Craven up if he so chooses. Looking like the Craven on Muir Island is the play. Spider-Man left. He's got that free pig, which is quite nice. Obviously, you'd rather have the card that it hit, which I forgot what it was. We got the Spider-Man coming down, moving over to the Craven lane. Pulling the Yondu as well. So, that is plus four on Craven from pulling both the Spider-Man and the Yondu. Pig into Hope Summer's lane, so Verbal is rocking with some extra energy this turn. Two extra energy. It is turn four. Verbal's got six energy, but he does not have much to play here. Meanwhile, we have Illumi looking at a Doc Ock, Black Bolt, or Shang-Chi play. Mm -hmm. So we got the Wakanda location most likely going to protect those big cards. <laughs> and Red Hulk, for Red sure. Red Hulk's going to be safe over there unless he gets pulled out early by the Doc Ock. But she knows there's no Red Hulk because that hand has not been going off yet. Give this man some energy. Give this man. Oh, come on there over he here. Goes. What you got over here? Oh, oh yeah, punch me. No? Otto just pulling out his own death here. An Wham! Fortunate play. But Verbal now has no cards in hand except the one he just drew here. Angela with nothing to play behind it. This turn six? This is turn five. No, five, right five, five, five. Okay. Oh, I see it. Oh, <laughs> Mothership, I see you. <laughs> Mothership throwing in the turns there, hooking us up. Thank you for that. Let's go, Angela. So yeah, Illumi looking strong here. Nothing too big on Verbal's side to worry about. Although she does have to make up some power on the left and right lanes here if she wants a chance. All I'm saying is this. Illumi got the China man. That is my favorite Asian in the world. Okay? He can win you games. He can save your life. Oh, he's on everybody's. He, look, listen. He's on my there. deck, <laughs> he could sleep there all the time. He could sleep on the floor every single time. <laughs> That's my guy. Shang-Chi, he belongs there. I know that guy's first, last, middle, and last name. Damn. Yeah, He's out here guy. representing. Shh. Look at that. We're in the library. Shh. We're Black in Brooklyn. Bolt shushes the Angela right out of the hand. <laughs> Beast bopping the Spider-Ham and the Iceman back. Unfortunately, though, still a bit of power difference to make up here. She doesn't have a whole lot to work with. The Shang-Chi's not going to get... Well, actually... Actually, she's good. Yeah, you can ace this. Let me see. Hold on. So, all Verbal has... Verbal just has a vision, vision to play here. Now, actually, no, the Shang-Chi is going to go off before Craven gets buffed by the Muir Island. So 
the Shang-Chi would not hit the Kraven since he's only at 9 power right now. Yeah, so this is tough. Yeah, this this looks like a body bag here for Verbal. You got you might as well ride this out. Make an executive decision. Look, Alumi already locked in. She's like, hey, man, whatever happens, happens. Well, I think Verbal's got this here, actually, because Verbal's up right now on the left and the right. Yeah, just play middle. That's an ace. All he has to do is play middle. Alumi, unfortunately, doesn't have many big power cards. Her biggest power cards are Gladiator and Black Bolt so far. The stature not in hand here, so she's not going to be able to make up this power difference, it looks like. Yeah, this might be a wrap. We're going to have to rock. Let me see. Okay. Committed to the Shang-Chi on the right, right? Yeah, no yep. tens. Unfortunately, the Shang-Chi not getting the value there. Ever since his change, he only targets 10 or more. And again, that Kraven didn't hit 10 until the end of the game. That's a wrap for Illumi. Unfortunately, Verbal advances to the next round. I will say this, though. That was a great match. Those are the type of matches that I want to see. I don't yes. want to just see straight bus ass at no. the beginning. You know, eight cubers lost, whatever the case is. Illumi. Big uh, enthusiast when it comes to the Marvel Snap side of things. I've seen on Twitter speak a lot about Marvel Snap. For as sure, well. for sure. Asking questions like, hey, what can what can I do to make my deck better? Stuff like that. That's pretty dope. Congratulations Absolutely. to Verbal. So this, this Verbal's big on the, on, on the Snap side of things, huh? Verbal's big. He's actually my teammate in Pursuit Gaming. Shout out to the Pursuit Gaming. PG boys out here representing. Okay. All right. So Verbal, teammate, getting the dub for PG, bringing that home. I'm sure Lewis will be happy about that. He's out there watching. I know. Shout out to Lewis. We're back here in the studio, yipes. Chilling, man. Enjoying myself. Look, you know what it is about. So, first time I'm commentating this, right? You two, first you me, time, right? You and me real? both. I mean, so, you've been doing commentary a lot longer than I have, but this is our first snap event, so we at least have that common ground yeah. here. No, it's love. Look, so I look at it like this, right? I've done, yeah, plenty of commentating gigs, sure, but at the end of the day, I'm a gamer. So, sometimes when I'm watching a good game, I actually tend to forget that I'm commentating. Yes. <laughs> so, so it's cool. So, I'm, I'm literally listening to you like I'm a stream monster right now. I was like, yeah, yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's the, beauty, that's the beautiful part about really loving the games that you play because you're so invested in what you're seeing on the screen that you tend to forget what the hell is around you. You know what I mean? Sure. There could probably be a fire around me. Yep. And, nah, let's, not, let's be realistic. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, though. Maybe an earthquake. Maybe an earthquake. I didn't feel the second one. I'll tell you that. I didn't feel the second one either. First one I did. Yes. Second one I didn't feel it, though. So I was actually playing Marvel Snap on the throne when the earthquake happened. The porcelain seat. The porcelain throne. <laughs> Thanos' chair. Whatever you'd like to call it. And I see, uh, you know, the bathroom mirror start shaking <laughs> a little bit. I'm like, damn, someone play Quake over here? What's going on? S somebody dropped the High Evo Hulk. Yes, the High Evo Hulk comes Deuce. slamming down. Boom, Red Hulk. But we out here. We're having a good time. Brooklyn. Should we give a, uh, a shout out to some of the sponsors making this possible? Man, hell yeah. Hold up. Do we even have, like, sponsor slides or nothing? Listen, I was just going to do it professional and just wait till, like, we was off camera. But, hey, man, we got the script right here. We can read Show it. some love. Yeah, listen, I got you. Uh, uh, uh. Reading, is fun Reading is fundamental. So, First Reading and foremost, Rainbow, coming here. Shout outs to Brookland. Brookland is New York's home for esports and gaming. That's true. I've been here many a time, so that's Great a fact. Place. 50 PCs and consoles to play on. Full kitchen and cocktail bar open to the public seven days a week. They're not lying. They so hit. if uh, you know, this is more for the grown folks. Obviously, everybody is welcome, right? But you know, this kind of caters more to the grown folks and stuff. So anytime you guys want to just come out here, and play some games, have fun. Go for it. Check out Brookland on all platforms, on tw on Twitch, on Twitter, on IG. Just follow them. And, of course, if you're in the New York area, you're visiting over here on some vacation type of thing. Definitely. And you want to just come over here and just chill, have a good time, Brooklyn is definitely the place to be, okay? Well and, worried. of course, powered. This event here has been powered by Marvel Snapcast. Of course, check out one of the best Marvel Snap podcasts with Sino and STG. The Marvel Snapcast, which is love. Which is love. You can check them out on YouTube.com slash Marvel Snapcast. I actually got acquainted with them a little more yesterday. Big, so. big, uh, big community members here. Uh, Super Tech God, Sino, doing great work for the community. They'll be casting later on after we're taking a break. So you'll be seeing them later today. Absolutely. And, of course, this event has been sp uh, supported by Marshall Base as well. Your portal to the styles. No, your portal to the styles of the past, the innovations of the present, and the possibilities of the future. The mission? Question mark? I like that. See how you're selling that? The mission. To make martial arts more accessible. Now, if I had a great left leg, I would definitely try to go for my black belt. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I was actually in the midst of martial arts when I was younger. Were you? So. What were you? Uh, what were you practicing? Karate. Okay. So okay. The basics. You know what I'm saying. I obviously wanted to lean into kung fu. You know yes. what I'm saying. But that's definitely something that I was uh, going for. I was heavy before the video games. You and me <laughs> right. both, man. But uh, yeah, check out this brand new project uh, at. I guess they forgot to put. That is martialbase.com. There you go. My Marshallbase.com. There it is. That's the logo. You guys can check them out. Marshallbase.com. You can use this weekend only promo code Godfist. For 10% off any t-shirt, when we cut back to me, you'll see I'm wearing one of the t-shirts here from Marshall Base. They hooked the homie up. 
check it out, marshallbase.com. Some fresh designs. They have some other more exciting ones as well. Year of the Dragon 2024. Uh. You got a sweet Year of the Dragon design. Okay. So be sure to check out Marshall Base and use promo code GODFIST for 10% off your purchase. You know about that GODFIST, the GODFIST combo. Some Tekken. So how was your first uh, Tekken tournament? I was, I was enjoying that. Oh, uh, the, the can, can opener. opener. Yes. So one thing about me is um, I leave my ears, I uh, keep my ears to the streets. In this case, the virtual streets. Of right? course. Uh, for those that don't know, I run a online tournament series every Tuesday called Can Opener. You know, for Mar Marvel Snap enthusiasts. You know what? It's kind of crazy though that a lot of people that play Marvel Snap, a big majority of them, I would say a good sixty percent, know about the FGC man and everything that's going on. So. It's, it's Marvel, pretty baby. freaking sick. <laughs> it's just oh my that God. simple, man. It's small. No, no, baby. seriously, seriously. So, uh, but just um, you know, just to piggyback off what I just said, like, um, it's just pretty cool to see, you know what I mean, that people uh, enjoy Snap as much as me. So yes, I run an event every Tuesday called Can Opener, and it's with every game. Like I'm talking about, I've done games for Cyberbots. Cyberbots. Right? Shout right. out to Jin. You know what I'm saying? Like the old like, school Blodia. Yeah, like we, we, we get down like that. So Can Opener is for the world of gaming. Obviously, we represent uh, fighting games, but we're for the world of gaming. So you could possibly see a Marvel Snap tournament, which I want to do. Uh, yo, Second Dinner, give us a spectator mode, please. Thank you. Stop playing with us. Shout it. out to Second Dinner. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, but when we got to Tekken, um, it was highly requested. Yes. Tekken so, brings the hype. Yeah, so it was to the point where it was like, all right, if we're going to dedicate to Tekken, we're going to give them a day of the week, and it's usually Thursday. It's a bi-weekly Thursday tournament. Look at, yo, yo. Look at that. Yo, 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 mothership. Mothership you the, hooking you the freaking us up. Go. You got Street Fighter Six. You got Guilty Gear Strive. You got the OG. If you guys like your Marvel Snap characters, you enjoy seeing the yo. artwork and stuff, and you haven't seen Marvel vs. Capcom played on a competitive level, you got to check some of these tournaments. Yo, out, let me right? tell you something. First of all, Perry's a big fan of the k and series. Second, Absolutely. it looks like Mothership is a big fan, too, because this wasn't even part of the script. Nope. We're not even sponsors here. Look, this man, while I was speaking, went and grabbed this, bro. Yo, I, I appreciate that so much, brother. This is going down every Tuesday. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Thursday for Tekken is bi-weekly, but Thursday is the dedicated day for the random games that I like to put up there, like Third Strike, Cyberbots, and stuff like okay, that. Okay, okay. So Tuesday is usually uh, Street Fighter, right? But that doesn't shy away from me doing a, a, a Guilty Gear or a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, or I have not done a Marvel 3, which I will be bringing to you guys, okay? But yeah, man, this is what goes down on a Tuesday and a Thursday, regularly on a Tuesday. So if you guys are not doing anything and you want to check uh, you want to check out something cool on the streaming side of things at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go check it out, man, at twitch.tv slash IFC. Appreciate you, Mothership Love. Much love to the Mothership, hooking up Yipes there with the promo. Definitely check out the Can Opener series if you guys have not seen it. If your only exposure to fighting games has been eSports, has been Evo, you're in for a much different vibe. I know you guys love to keep it on the local level, try and bring that arcade scene, yes. that arcade mentality back to the FGC, and that's something I really resonate with. So much love to you for doing that, hey, Yipes. Man, thank you. That's where, I'm, that's where I'm at when it comes to uh, just anything casting. You know, at this point, you know, I'm 37 years old, uh, blessed, right? Um, Leveling up. I just love video games, man. So, you know, as you get older, you kind of appreciate all the scenes that are involved in the world of gaming. Marvel Snap being one of them, right? Bring and people I, together. And I definitely want to be under that. You know what I'm saying? And we're not here thinking about no money and a quick change of sponsors. We're trying to see the, the, the interest to see if actual people play Marvel Snap in New York City. And we looked in this table. We looked in this room, excuse me, in this venue. And we seen so many people sitting on the table waiting for the next opponent. These guys are actually about it. You would think they had decks in their pockets. The right. They were sitting at right. these tables That's ready to bust out their card protectors, ready to bust out the, the shuffle in. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's all digital, it's all Marvel Snap, and we're all here to have a good time. So we're going to be getting this next match coming up in just a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Competitors are getting ready. There's a beautiful shot of the venue. Look at that. We have people at tables for a digital card game. You'll love to see it, guys. This is Brooklyn. Yep. Everybody, give a, a shout-out to the camera. Uh, my we man, got Super SDG Tech. I see you, boy. SCG! Super Tech God. Sino Montana. There they are, bottom right-hand corner. Sino! Sino, 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 top five Marvel Snap player in the world. You'll <laughs> yes. be seeing him later on tonight again with Super Tech God down there. Got a bunch of homies out there. We got Timmy Trogdor. We got Gaming with Flash X. We got uh, a bunch of other people down there ready to play some Marvel Snap. Denman Falcon. Lots of homies representing New York. Brooklyn in the building. Again, man, like uh, this is a perfect example of just bringing uh, when worlds collide kind yes. of thing. 
You know what I'm saying? So to be under the same roof and just talking about video games in this case, uh, Marvel Snap is pretty dope. Beautiful thing. Uh, shout out to Alec, man, again in yes. Brooklyn. For, Owner for of Brooklyn, Alec, hooking us up, making the connections, being able to pull these sponsors in, get a, a, a worthwhile prize for the winners here. Always supporting the community, so you love to see that. And on top of that, please check the Maturino. Uh, it's in the Brooklyn channel as well. Hit exclamation point Maturino. I don't know if the uh, mothership said it. Uh, but uh, Mothership, please, if you could put the link in my channel as well. I think we have an, uh, a command from Stream Elements in there. So just to make sure if it works, hit exclamation point Maturino in uh, the twitch.tv slash Yipes chat. And I think it should pop up. Yep. We, and we, if you guys don't know what Macharino is, I know that's something that has been new to the Snap scene. That's I first discovered it on your stream, actually. I well, there you I go. I haven't been familiar with Macharino. So if you guys don't know, Macharino is a platform that allows the viewers to donate to the pot bonus for the tournaments they're watching. Just give a little extra incentive for the players. And, you know, more money involved, more hype matches for you yes. guys. So it does, once there's more on the line, higher stakes, better matches. So and do uh please donate if you can a little bit goes a long way 50 cents a dollar yeah you know it all goes towards the players it's for a good cause and so. then on top of that it gives us a little fluff room where uh they give us promo codes early on where if you use these codes on the side uh you know to like just log on on a, on a twitter whatever the case is show love to like certain sponsors or whatever the case may be you donate 50 cents uh to the Maturino for free hold on let me take a picture this is my guy right here look this he's wearing boy, the right? just grind the just grind part of the team remix holla there you I go. see you, Just. Uh, that's my guy right there. It's one of my boys. So they do hear us. I knew this dude since he was in Pampers, bro. I'm not even kidding. No way. Yeah, this is crazy. He's a grown ass man. He's actually a professional uh, MMA fighter. His record no right now is six and zero. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I kid you not, bro. You know you're dealing with a professional MMA fighter here. This is six and zero oh right here. Yes. Six and I'm dead ass. Six and oh, you gotta get him hooked up with Marshall Base, man. So just to give you guys a little lore, he's the man that put me on to a Marvel Snap. Okay. I was on a vacation in freaking Dominican Republic. My kick, my legs was kicked up. He said, "Hey, man, you want to play something cool?" And I never no. got off of it ever since. So ever since. Let me take a picture. I'll take another drink. Please, I'll take. Uh, this is a uh, tequila mule. I'll take a pot of green. Yes, sir. My guy. Thank you. Yo, shout out to Super Tech God. Hold on, let me take a picture. STG of this. holding it down for the broadcasting duo in here right now. You love to see it. I see you, Justin. We live right now, baby. If y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm on IG. Just uh, shouting out my boy. I oh, see God. you, Just. <laughs> Get money, baby. Trying not to distract the competitors <laughs> here, but it's all good. It's all love. It's all coming from a good place. So we got yes, Denman is. Falcon here on the top of your screen. We have. A just grind going by remix zero prints fgc that of course is the clothing brand we'll talk about i appreciate that we'll talk one. about thank you ifc yipes but we'll oh get to that God. a little later on we got plenty of time for shout outs here let's get to the match so it looks like just grind here is running a sandman ramp galactus list is that what i'm seeing down here we got sandman we got g-man we got man man black panther all right so look i'm gonna whisper this okay okay so he's, remember how i told you about the guy that called me talking about hey should i rock sandman here it is this, this is, is the him guy, right this yeah, is yeah, the so guy th that's number one number two i think he's still saving up his tickets he's trying to decide between glaive and red hulk so he's like in a bit of a okay <laughs> little identity crisis little, here. little, a little pitch. crisis almost okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay so he, he, so i told him i was like hey it's a possibility you're gonna bump into some red skulls here so i said hey just play your game doesn't matter what it is yep. now the fact that he is dealing with uh, Deadman Falcon and he is playing this discard deck. Yes, Deadman looks like he's playing the the ramp version of Hella here. He's got the Electro, he's got the Corvus Glaive, rocking the Red Hulk, the Magneto. So no Hella in hand for Deadman Falcon here, but Just Grind is going to have to play around it, expecting the Hella. Yo, this is interesting. So I know in the back of uh, Just Grind's mind is like, okay, I got the Galactus, cool. He got the discard, cool. When will I make this count right now? I don't agree with this Wang Panther on the right. He does have Arnim Zola, so I figured, oh, he can move Wave on turn six and then go for the Black Panther. Yes. So I think that's going to be the big player. So it looks like Denman here is going to take priority with the Magneto play on Nidavalier. Although, actually, they're tied. Yeah, there's only a three power difference here. So it is a random selection on who has priority here. And it looks like Denman actually does maintain priority. So. I mean, this is a the reason deck. that's important is if Just Grind wants to play Galactus, the Galactus will not reveal until the opponent's card reveals, until Denman Falcon's card reveals. So he would have to beat five power in a lane, but it looks like he's not going Galactus. He does move the Black Panther from the right to the middle location, looking at Arnim Zola to get two 16 power Panthers in both locations. Yo, 
This shit is so sick. Perry, we're really doing this right now. This, this is it. fire, we're boy. We're <laughs> out here, man. We out here. We and fucking huge, doing this. A huge red hole comes down on the right side here for Denman. Just grind. Pops the Zola. Now, the the typical play here, Yipes. Let's see. Let's test your Marvel Snap knowledge. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Uh, there is no priority on, on uh, Justice's side. I know he's pretty hype about this Eliath that's in his hand, but it's shitty now at this point. The Eliath ain't going to do it, but there it is. The Odin there it onto is. the yes. Arnim Zola. Oh, I already know. So that was know the next thing I was going to say. The, Z the Odin is going to re-trigger the Arnim Zola, which is going to allow Odin to pop in both the left and the right lane. And he snaps. He put his balls to the wall. His cojones. His... Cajones is out there, bro. His cassavas they are is out there on sharing the, table. the oxygen with us. So the question is, he goes for the Hella. The Hella comes back. It's random where these cards come. Odin on the blade. That's not going to bring back the Jubilee. Oh, no, he's done. I think. Oh, oh no, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. He actually won this. Yo, just grind can't. Did he? Well, the Odin's going to go back right. Going to re-trigger the Black Panther on the right. Is it going to be enough, though? Yo, oh! Yo, oh, I think, that's enough. I think that's enough. That's, that's definitely enough. Hold There's on. There's the Odin trigger. Oh, actually, I don't think so. Oh, no, it's double. Yes, that is enough. It does go up. Yes. But the Red Hulk, oh, my God, by one point on the right because of the Red Hulk float. Okay, Joss! Getting it done old school. Arnim Zola, Black Panther, <laughs> Odin. A classic combo. It is classic. classic. It's Rebox. Let me tell you something. My man, Dem and Falcon, got that look like. Holy shit, it's a Sandman. I haven't seen this since March 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. That's why I love Snap Tournaments, man. Offline, you don't know what you're going to get in the piñata. <laughs> Just a little Sandman, Zola, Odin. Classic, He's... classic combo. No He's... Sandman drop, though. They're both running Sandman, actually. Look at that. I will say this. Um... I think a good little ramp up on Nexus with a bit of Black Panther and Odin, I think, will seal the deal. Plus, we got a Lyoth here, too. Electro in hand. This is looking kind of shitty Just here. Ryan looking real good. Yipes has no bias whatsoever for any of the competitors here. I don't. All right. I'm sorry. Out here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Speaking of. This is true. This is true. I you can keep it a buck, Barry. You can keep it a buck. Thank Woo! You. Let's get that going. Yo, look at look at look at the homies holding this down. That's 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 hooking us up. Thank you, brother. See you now. See no. Again, you'll be seeing Super these guys later. All right, we got the sand wow! coming down on turn three. That came out an X Mansion. Come oh, on, wow. bro. Look at that. Yeah, they got the X Mansion Sandman. So a turn three Sandman. Let's They're go. They're only playing one card each the rest of this game here. Let's go, Black Panther. What kind of forever? Please let get this man of Odin. <laughs> Just Grind's got the Odin there in hand. Get this man of Odin. Oh, my God. So it's going to be a priority game now. It's love. Let's check this out, right? Top. Uh, turn five, Odin. Turn six, Eliath. Beautiful. I didn't want to say the Eliath too loud because he might retreat. Mm. So if I was uh, Just, I would snap emphatically. Oh, Black yeah. Black Panther goes off. He's got the priority. He's got the ramp. So this is pretty much Just Grind's game to lose here. Get this man, Asgard. Oh, that's what? filthy. You know what he's doing here. Get him he's dropping the Eliath this turn. This way he can play the Odin again to trigger the Eliath a second time. He should do that, actually. On turn six. What the, what the hell are you doing, I just? don't know what he's thinking doing that, but again, hopefully they can't hear us in here. Oh, he's being a jerk. He's, he wants to inflict pain. I see what's going on. I don't on. know if I agree with the Hobgoblin play here because now... I would have done the alive. Did you are correct on that, Barry? Denman can just throw the Odin down and bring that Hobgoblin right back. Actually, because of the Odin here. That might have been a big misplay on Just Grind's part. I think he wanted to go with the Eliath and the Odin there. But I don't think there was priority. really anything. So he's well, going now to, he does. He's going to send the Hobgoblin back. Yes, the Hobgoblin's going to go back, but then Just Grind is going to send the Hobgoblin back over. Yes! So the Hobgoblin is going to be popping back and forth between both sides of the board here. That is what I meant, actually, too. And it is off of the base off of biases. I'm so sorry. You know, usually you're not supposed <laughs> Bias to do commentary, this commentary. Featuring IC Ipes. I'm not even being biased. You know what it is? I'm just so happy to see my man up there because he be talking mad smack about how he will enter tournament. Of course. Wait, who retreated? It looks like Denman, Denman retreated Falcon. Okay, because okay. he knows that the Odin was coming back. The priority game there. It might have been a smart move. Either way, I think Just Grind had that in the bag. I do think the Eliath into the Odin was probably the better play, but he went the Hobgoblin route and it pays off for him there. Taking one cube off Denman. Just Grind up. Five cubes to, 
or 10 cubes to 5, rather. You know, I appreciate anybody that's coming in here early because they got to go to work later at night. He's one of those guys. He's yep. working tonight? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, just, he's, coming. A, he's a bodyguard for a club. Okay. So <laughs> I mean, that is what a, uh, a martial artist should do, right? That, yeah, is, that is a natural fit. As a fact. As a martial <laughs> artist. Ooh. All right, so the Savage Land clogging up a couple of those Hella Lanes. That can make things a bit difficult for Jubilee if she's going to be brought back later on. I like that smart choice putting Electro on uh, Machine World to make up think twice. Like, hey, do you actually want to use this? That is true. It's going to take up spots in the hand. It's going to uh, be a card that you don't want to come back from Hella. Yo, Denman Falcon got that. Excellent. Good. <laughs> that Mr. Burns going on. Good. Excellent. Damn, I don't know about this Hobgoblin game, man. Because uh, already Den Denman Falcon already represented that he has Odin, right? They both have Odin. So it's a big mind game now on priority and who wants it versus who's going to get the Odin play. Correct. That's a fact. Turn five out of six. You see that turn five yeah, out of look six? Look at that. Denman, they both actually top deck their Odins, respectively. Let's see. I like the Dr. Doom. It's good. Dr. Doom is probably the priority play here. Damn, I would like to know who snapped. Let me see. Who left? Okay, okay. Rem I like that. He okay. kept it healthy. He kept yep. it healthy. Instead Just of one cube. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the biggest things that's helped me improve as a Marvel Snap player, a friend of mine told me that you have to understand you're not going to win every game. Yep. You have to understand that sometimes retreating for one cube is a win. Yes. That is the best way to look at it. Yeah. You're not going to get that win. You're not going to get that cube every single time. But being able to just retreat for one when you know it could have been worse, yeah, you have to count that as a win. Yeah, that. So I say that all the time to my stream. They're like, "Hey, man, how do you make the infinite so fast?" Like, "Yo, bro, you really got to know when to dip. Just dip." That is the most important part. Yeah. So that's why I kind of like conquest. It t depending on the deck that you play. For example, I'm a big fan of uh, Phoenix Force, right? Yes, of course. That deck allows you to, back -to, -back Savage Land, to retreat. Yes. Right back to back. By the way, yeah. yeah. Damn. You know what? Every time I see Savage Land, I kind of salivate. Wishing I had Loki mm. with freaking a uh, snow guard or something to just uh, just uh, look oh, that up. How about the Legion play? You like the Legion? Legion two is on good. Savage Land squirrels popping those squirrels all over the board. Yeah, man. So funny. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, man. This is crazy. We're here right now. We got the ramp for both players on turn three. That's the ideal play for Just Grind. We got the Electro for Denman dropping the Corvus. No Hella discarded so far, so you love to see that for Denman. For early just grind, he's liking this hobgoblin play. Two New Yorks is going to make this interesting. I'm not going to lie, I would actually agree with the hobgoblin play off of the strength that he's already. Oh, I thought he locked himself out with Sandman already. Excuse me. No Sandmans have hit the board just yet. It looks like they're both a little reluctant to play their Sandmans. Jubilee pulls out Doctor Doom. Wow. And Denman, or I'm sorry, uh, just grind drops the Black Panther here mid. You could tell that by the lean back, the lean back on Denman Falcon's chair is like, man, I hope he don't have Odin <laughs> with with uh, Zola, right? Exactly. But it looks like that is exactly what Just Grind's going to do here. He's going for the Zola play. He doesn't have the Odin in hand just yet, but he's hoping he maybe top decks it. There is going to be a priority fight here, trying to see who can take priority. Don't snap! Oh! We're here, Perry. We are here. Yeah. We're here, we Perry. Are here. I know I said it like a thousand times, but I'm I just sorry. gotta throw it out there. We are here. We got two Black Panthers now. That Red Hulk is still stronger, even after a doubled Black Panther. But look at it like this, right? We have two choices, two New Yorks. Where are we gonna move this Red Hulk? You know he's gonna move it. This is the mind games for sure. You're definitely not keeping that Red Hulk in the right lane. Let so, me so just, just Ryan has... needs to anticipate a move there. So let's see, we got Galactus. No Odin, yeah. unfortunately. This is the final turn now. I don't know about this, man. I guess he's anticipating that he's actually going to move the Red Hulk, but there's nothing on the Savage Land side, so he is banking on both New Yorks right now. Yes, Denman does have priority as well, so if, if uh, Just Grind wanted to go for a Galactus play, he would not be able to reveal before Denman does. Did Denman lock in already? It looks like uh, a retreat has been locked in from some player here. Okay, so Just got to get the good read. I'm going to assume that it was... I'm going to assume that it was Denman that is retreating. It is, yeah. Yes. It says that right up top. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, knowing Justice, is he going to put his balls to the wall and just commit? Look at Denman right now. His poker face is not that good. He's kinda, it, he kind of gives me that body language as he's actually retreating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, look. So, just right now, hard read. He's, he's thinking that Red Hulk was going to move. But, no. Oh, my God. They both retreat. They were both oh, scared. Oh, my God. Perry, these guys <laughs> were scared. They're playing scared right now. I don't. Th th this is this is something that I think most players of Snap, myself included, are not <laughs> anticipated for. You are here. There is crowd noise. There are people watching you. 
This is not from the comfort of your mom's basement playing Snap. <laughs> no, but credit to the community, though. Like, everybody respects the move, right? Because yes. you hear nothing out there. Like, you don't hear... <laughs> Every time somebody's going to make a move, you feel like you're just in an empty parking lot. But I promise you, there's a lot of people in here. Right there are now. people in here. <laughs> it is getting people. loud for other players as well. We have multiple matches going on right now. These are just the ones being broadcast on stream. Wow, we're going to get rid people of People are getting hyped. I'm going to be honest. I'll get rid of Merz Island. Unless, of course, he's trying to bat. Uh, I mean, in, in Justice's case, I'm pretty sure he would be happy with a Black Panther out there for a 9, right? Yeah, that would help. The Ant Maze definitely helping the Black Panther more than some other cards. But Magic to get rid of the Ant Maze. Unfortunately for Just Grind, Denman was able to take advantage of the buff before it was gone. Mm -hmm. Denman did have priority oh. there. That Hulk is getting juicy. Rojo Hulk. Rojo Hulk. You know, I told him on the phone. I said, hey, man, just be prepared. You're going to deal with this today. <laughs> does, now, now, does he have... Red Hulk? Just uh, Ryan? No, because he's still trying to decide between Corvus and Red Hulk. And I told mm. him, hey, man, go red if you're going to go to the roulette table. <laughs> always bet on red. Yes. I don't bet on red all the time. I don't always bet on red. Okay, good, good, good. I just <laughs> want to make sure. If we ever go to it's the always, casino, I always just want to make black. sure. You know, sometimes I go by my comp my confidence of my friends. I'm like, you going red? Well, hell, I'm going red with you. And then we end up losing. And then you bail. <laughs> you bail. Okay. Go on black. I don't know about this Odin. I don't know about this Hobgoblin, man. The fact that they both have access to this Odin. I think it makes a lot of mind games. Mm -hmm. it, it really makes, you know, you have to guess on whether or not you're going for the Odin play, whether you're going to have priority or not. Uh, the the fact that Denman here has priority at the moment, he has a lot of options available to him, especially after that Electro. I don't know if he's discarded anything yet. I don't think so. I haven't seen any discard cards come down yet. So he's really just hoping for... And we have both players snapping here. But Remix, just grind, ain't about it. He retreats here for two. Denman crawling back into this battle here. We have uh, seven cubes to five now. Going into the high stakes round. I okay, believe. so we're in, we're in round five now. I believe we're in high stakes. Yes, I didn't see it happen, but there are the two cubes. So we are in the high stakes at very minimum. One player is losing two cubes this round. Hey, you're very good at this commentating thing, man. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, I need, I I need a little more sauce in me, but I'm getting there. I get you. But hey, man, as a, as, a, as a gamer and a viewer, I rock for it, bro. Perry. I appreciate you. You already know. It's love. I'm just a comedic relief. I know exactly <laughs> what's going on, but I'm just being a clown. That's just me. We, uh, we all need a little more laughter in the world, Yipes. Nothing wrong with being a clown. Now, this is... This is a, that's a fact. Now, this is... Here. So, I already know this is just off of the strength. Well, I know he's playing at the bottom, but he's a... Uh, for those that don't know, he's a pixel head. He mm. loves pixel... I see that. I've, I've, been yeah, 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 yeah. I've been noticing here. He's rocking the pixels. Yeah, yeah. From pixel the, wave. Everything. Uh, yeah. A decent pixel. That Sandman is pretty ugly, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. And you know a lot of his tournament play, because the dude ain't even freaking upgraded. Look at that. Yep. Straight dry. That is one dry Eliath right there, the gray border. And I like this. That. Another snap here, putting the pressure on. So if Denman... I can't tell who snapped. That's the problem. It might have been just... I'm, I'm, and I'm going by just what just he the played. Play, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just off of Hobgoblin alone. I mean, the Nowhere is pretty rough for Hella. It just sucks in general. He actually had the combo that he needed, right? Corvus Glaive into Hella into Odin, right? Did, but yeah. the fact that you got nowhere on both sides, it kind of sucks. So he's kind of committed to playing the mid, and he locks it out. But what's the big card here is the question. How are you going to beat this 12? You still need to put 7 power mid, and he doesn't have anything. I mean, he can play Black Panther mid. That will get him to 13, which is just going to be enough to win mid. But... How was he gonna win these other lanes? Oh my God! If I'm gonna call it, if 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 the Snap Gods is on Denman Falcon's side, that's a Red Hulk that's pulling up behind Hela. I'm pretty sure Denman discarded his Red Hulk. Oh, already. did he? Oh, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch I it. Might have been wrong. Never mind. I'm gonna shut my mouth. Denman just played his Red Hulk out on the left here. Damn, it happened so fast. I, we couldn't even see what he played. Yeah, oh I didn't see God. it in the hand anymore, so I figured it was discarded. So Denman is only looking at six energy here in either lane because that on reveal ability is not going to trigger due to the oh nowheres. Even on the retreat, you're going to take four. Holy smokes. Yep, they are locked in for four here. So if Denman is forced to retreat, he would be down to his last cube. But it looks <gasps> like... He was actually good. Oh, my God. He should have just played on the right. He should have played Magic and Jeff. He would have won this. Well, actually, hold on. Let me see the numbers. I'm so sorry. No, Magic is a... Uh, that would have been two. a tie. Yeah, it would have been a tie. He so wasn't he able to lost. play both. Escape. Unfortunately for Just Grind there, has to retreat for four. Did not have enough to get over 
the potential hella on the yeah. right. This is how you know we're serious. You see how cold those fries are? Those fries need to be thrown in the air fryer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With some olive yo, oil. Alan, yo, Alan, yo, throw that in the microwave, bro. <laughs> Let the man know he forgot that he got some fries there. They've been sitting there getting cold all game. Oh, man, this is looking rough right here for Josh. Just Grind's going to have <laughs> a grind to get back from here. He's going to have to grind to get back into this game now. Oh, snap. Denman drops the blade, getting rid of his Red Hulk. No Hella in hand just yet. We got some destroy locations, and we have a snap coming in from Denman, I'm assuming. He's feeling pretty strong right now. He's got Jubilee to deal with Death's Domain. They both snap. They're locked in for three, so this is going to be possibly the last game for Just Grind. They are locking in with all their cubes right now. And we have... <laughs> yeah. We have Just Grind dropping the Jeff here. Both competing you know for the hollow. You know what I know it's right now. Hey, I'm sorry, this got nothing to do with anything. It's all good. My man Denman Falcon put headphones on for Snap Kid. He's, he's trying to hit a wind <laughs> of the car place. Look, man, there's there's a there's a uh, there's a there's some some serious money on the line they here. They want to hit that shit. They want to hit it. <laughs> Blocking out the uh, the crowd noise a little bit. Crowd's getting hype out here. There are other matches going on. People <laughs> getting hype. This is an in-person Marvel Snap tournament, guys. This is a totally different beast than what you've seen in the Lambie series tournaments. This is different than what you've seen for Conquerors, even. The Marvel Snap, the second dinner hosted events as well. This is out here in person. Your opponent is right there. He can hear, he can hear just Grind's They can probably plays. hear everything. They he can, can probably hear, hear us, too. He can hear the... Oh, no, no, the card moves. It's funny you mention that, Yipes, because I actually did a whole thing. I did a charity stream recently <laughs> where I played blindfolded. <laughs> oh, and solely shit. played based on the sounds of the cards. It was wild. I respect that. It was wild. Hmm. You're like, is that Iron Man or is that Sentinel? I can't yeah. tell. They sound the same. Yeah, my man just got that face like, hmm, did I turn off the air conditioner before <laughs> I left? <laughs> did I leave the stove on? Woo, Jubilee. And you know what's so crazy? I was just having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I always thought Jubilee was the weakest X-Men like in existence. But for people that follow the she lore in the comics, she actually got powered up. She, uh, Oh, shit, we got back back up. She actually got vampiric powers. Vampiric powers? Yeah, she's. I don't even know if that's a word. But hey, Morbius? I don't know. I actually forgot how she got her powers. There's but some vampires in the to, uh, to, in the Marvel to, world. To up her up, she, they, she became a vampire. So okay. that's what they did. So I always had this ongoing joke that Jubilee and Cyclops was ass. I mean, things are a little different now. Whoa, Cyclops now. It's Cyclops ain't been ass. I mean, he's ass in the show. Look at Denman Falcon. What When you see a confident elbow placement on the table, yeah. that goes to show you that the game was played correct. You're feeling real good right now if you're Denman Falcon. He got the Odin on the Jubilee, pulling out the Ronin, and getting another set of Doom bots on the board. <laughs> here he actually got no choice he gotta play this so obviously uh, top deck um what do you have magneto did he play it what do you did he play already who uh denman falcon i didn't even catch what he played he played the odin onto the jubilee and doom land so the jubilee pulled the ronin out no 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 for sure i'm talking about more so for turn six what did he play oh i didn't see i he, think he, he played anything, anything yet all right so let's see i don't think this is enough as long as he plays something in the middle now i don't know if denman falcon is uh psyching himself out wow he took his headphones off already <laughs> he, knows oh! he's got he knows he got it the confidence oh! from denman falcon here i can't believe you did that to my friend oh unfortunate <laughs> here for just grind for your homie yipes yo keep this camera on just let me let me let me just see the handshake look at this man <sighs> there it is a casserole for denman falcon uh, you man, call that an ace that man denman, yes when it's all so three we call locations. that casserole in the snap like with a broken heart there it is some sportsmanship Ooh. as well you'll have to see it oh the tiger woods <laughs> The man hit him with the good job Just and then looked away. <laughs> he knows he's going to be hearing it from you later on as well. That's nah, what he's I'm more not. upset about. I'm not. I'm not even going to give him shit, to be honest with you. The world of Marvel Snap, you just can't expect that everything is going to go your way. Now, mind you, in terms of the draw of the cards, they both had Sandman to play. So, obviously, whoever has Sandman would think, oh, yeah, I'm going to have the advantage. You're not going to play. Uh, multiple cars, but and they yet, both think, had the same same game plan. I think once you saw that they both had the Sandman, you noticed that they didn't play the Sandman anymore. They they realized exactly. that they couldn't afford to waste that turn dropping four power on the board. Well, because more, Sandman has that downside. He's only four power. Well, more so for Falcon, right? Freaking yes. uh, the fact that he had Hella. Sandman wasn't even an issue at no. that point, right? No. So. Hella was just putting that work in. Hella definitely a deck I expect to see on the rise after this change, too. After Thanos coming down a little bit. Uh, you're not seeing as much lockdown anymore. Lockdown counters pretty Hella pretty hard. So having that change there, uh, I think we're going to see a lot more Hella in this meta. So get used to it. Yeah, no, no. I'm a I discard guy. What is your what is your go-to list though? 
So for what me, I'm an original uh, Patriot guy. Okay, Patriot so, strong. There's a lot of Patriot combinations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you mess around with Mockingbird and Patriot? Yes, She's I do. Great. But as of recent, though, okay, it's been Phoenix Force all day. I'm, I'm talking about like I have like seven different decks with Phoenix Force with a different combination in all of them. For sure. So you'll have one with Shang Chi, one with uh, Deadpool. Deadpool, the Deadpool version? yeah, yeah. sure. Nimrod, of course. Nimrod, of course. And yep. there's one I got with Elias, you know. Ooh, that's dirty. So yeah, so you have multiple men with Elias. That's mess what I've around been around with the uh, the Phoenix Force Tribunal deck. No, so uh, get that Raven Cuban torch pumping. Raven told me about it. Okay. I never really thought about rocking Tribunal with uh, Phoenix Force. It's a great surprise card because your opponent is expecting just that one big lane or the Zola play. So when you have that big power, that big torch dropped on the board, being able to juice it up, moving it around, and then you just drop that tribunal, even everything out, they're not anticipating yeah. that. They think they have to go tall to beat you. What's tough is, though, like, even after the fact that I found out you could pick tribunal, I'm thinking to myself, man, there's a lot of Killmongers, mm -hmm. there's a lot of Shang-Chi's, you know what I'm saying? I would have to say a good 70 to 80% of the decks right now have Shang-Chi. Oh, for on, sure. Shang-Chi is rank. seeing a huge share of the meta right now. Yeah. At least 50% of decks are running Shang-Chi. So, like, that's the only way, uh, that's the only thing that will stop me to go... Well, I wouldn't rock Human Toys Tribunal, but it's still a percentage, though, right? So it's not like you're going to have Shang-Chi in hand all the time no. or whatever the case may still be. Still got to draw the motherfucker. And, and on top of that, Human Torch moves, right, with Phoenix Force. So yes. it's like you still got to guess where exactly uh, he's going to get placed. But, I mean, it's kind of a call out considering if you see the empty location, it's a top, you'll That's see the Zola That's usually where the going to go. But then you can play the Taskmaster version. Exactly. And so. that, makes a messy, uh, that makes it a little trickier yeah. to, to predict. Yeah. So that's that's what I've been on, man. Phoenix Force, but if I had to choose the IFC Yipes, yeah, what is your archetype? Thing? I would have to say, a uh, funny enough, anything with Magneto. I mean, that's the least surprising thing in the world, <laughs> considering <laughs> who we're talking about. I'm here. gonna be honest, anything with Magneto. So let's see, Thanos discard. Nah, nah, nah. Let, let, let me not let me not take the cheap way out. I'm gonna have to say, I am a big Patriot Destroy fan. Okay. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And respect to destroy, respect to Patriot. My personal favorite. It's after that. I guess I could add it to the to the same uh, decks would be control, but it would have to be with like Miss Marvel, uh, Professor X. Okay, so, so you like a little bit of that lockdown action. Yeah, but then War Machine, you know, kind of. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I was a bit wrong on War Machine. I thought he was going to be this meta defining card. I thought you were going to see him all over the place after he came out. A little underwhelming. Uh, I think he's going to have a place, especially in those lockdown metas. I think he's going to be viewed more as kind of that tech card. You know how, like, Mobius, once you start seeing Sarah and Zabu dominating the meta, you see Mobius start to creep in. Once you see start, once you start, start, uh, start seeing all the ongoing decks, the Tribunals, the Iron Man, the Onslaught, that's when you see Super Scroll tech in. You start seeing him yeah. played a lot more. Yeah. So I feel like War Machine is going to have that ability of, like, all right, lockdown decks are a little too strong right now, so how do you counter it? You throw War Machine in your deck. So I look at it like this, right? I feel like uh, War Machine is still unexplored. Yes. You know, I haven't seen too many decks with, like, for example, Goose War Machine. Yes. Right? But obviously, you got Zabu's in there. So I can see why people's kind of, like, falling behind on that. But Easy to get under that Goose when you're running Zabu. Right. Exactly. So She-Hulk as well gets under the Goose pretty Shang -Chi easy. Shang-Chi goes in there Shang -Chi pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I, I can see why I don't see that combination as uh, played as much. But War Machine is definitely still in that state where there's still more to be uncovered. He's going to surprise you in a few months. Yeah. You're going to start seeing him pop up more once some of these newer cards come out. Uh, some new synergies that people come up with. Some crazy shit. I mean, you. I wouldn't even think about seeing Phoenix Force before. You know, like when Phoenix Force came out for a while, it was like, all right, how do you play this card? You know. Do you only just run it with Human Torch Multiple Man? That is still the way to do it, but you're you're seeing more creative applications, you know, mixing in that Shuri Nimrod package. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I think when War Machine has enough time under his belt, when not everyone's playing him, you're going to start seeing those creative builds come out. Yeah, no, real, 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 real talk. I mean, look, in terms of Phoenix Force, what was the big buff for Phoenix Force? Uh, Phoenix Force used to be, a, used to be five, a five, right? Yeah. yeah, so four is what made it really click. Like, oh, man. Right, we can this get this out of card. turn earlier now. Now you can play Shuri first if you want to. Get a really big Human yeah, Torch yeah, yeah. going after you do the, uh, the Phoenix Force, the multiple man, of course. Unfortunately, you don't see too much play with Phoenix Force outside of those two cards. I'd like to see some yeah. experimentation with some different cards, but... We'll get there. So what I do at this point, what I do with Phoenix Force is uh, com uh, combine uh, a lot of Phoenix Force decks with uh, Doctor Strange and Iron Fist. Yes. So I'm still Essential working on Iron Fist. So the thing about Iron Fist is if you have Shuri on your, in your hand with uh, Nimrod and Zola, mm -hmm. let's say if you don't get that hand early with like 
Human Torch or Multiple Man, right? You could do something cheeky. You could be like Iron Fist turn three, yep. turn four Shuri, move Shuri out the way, mm. and then you have that opening yes. with uh, Nimrod into Zola. Yes. But then it kind of throws off the synergy on the whole team overall because I feel like Ghost Spider is better. Yes. But in terms of really focusing on Shuri, Nimrod, uh, Iron Fist, Shuri, Nimrod is a great combination that a lot of people don't play. No. But right. it's definitely a clutch. The thing about that combination that makes it so good is it's a guaranteed 24 lane. Yes. No matter what, right? With uh, Both Shuri. Ways. Yeah, exactly. Both so, ways. Uh, yeah. So it all depends on the RNG. <laughs> really? Whatever's in it your hand look? at the time. That's the nice thing about that deck, especially, is the flexibility. You're able to have all those different lines. You don't have to just go, all right, multiple man on two, Venom on three, yes. Phoenix Force on four, and then bring everything back. You have a lot of options with that deck. Damn it. Yeah, you don't have to stay in the norm. So I'll give you an example, right? Uh, I play a Phoenix, uh, a Phoenix Force deck, the, the, the same old with Iron Fist. Um, uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, with uh, Human Torch, yep. Multiple Man, whatever the case. The same old, same old, right? Let's say in your hand, you don't get none of those cards, yep. right? You have Nico, the two, the, the, the two times. What a, uh, what a good card to have in that deck. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nico, flexible. Very flexible. So if you get the two times, not the one that powers up, up your next card play, but when you power Nico herself the yes. two times. Double you could do power. stuff like uh, two times Nico, put a Hulk Buster in there, mm -hmm. double that up, mm -hmm. right? Destroy that Nico, bring it back with Phoenix so Force. So many cra right? great right? It, it's creative. Deck. It's so creative. Yeah, yeah. So, I love seeing it played. And then if you have Zola, boom, you can make a copy of the Nico. One more round? Okay. So after, after this game right here? Yeah, yeah. Got you. My guy. All Super right. Tech holding it down, baby, man. Shout out to the Marvel Snapcast holding it down. Super you know. Tech God, Ceno Montana. Make sure you guys are following them if you aren't already. Shoutouts to the homies. They'll be t picking it up after this last game here between me and Yipes. Get it's us, been uh, a pleasure, Barry. Oh, absolutely. Listen, man. man, we'll be talking. The one thing I can say about you, Perry, that made me comfortable to commentate with you, man, and the homies is the fact that, number one, you a warrior. You've been in my chat many times. You know what I'm saying? Number two, you understand yeah, yeah. that I love Snap at this level. And the fact that I understand that you love fighting games at that level, that makes it a great parent, man. It's so, easy. Yeah, easy. man. So All you right. already know. Let's freaking get it, man. Let's get into this round four matchup here. We're going to see who our contestants are in just a moment here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be having our next match is Rude Bear versus Rebel. Those are our two players popping up here. They are on the screen as you see them now. Uh, not quite sure what they're playing yet, but we will find that out shortly after we get our players set up and ready to go. Mm. Uh, for those of you who don't know me... You know, you're you're all about the Phoenix Force, the Patriot, the Destroy. I'm a discard man. I was literally about to ask. That's crazy. I love me. That you even mentioned it. Some discard. I was literally going to wait for you to finish what you was going to say. Then I was going to ask you what was it's your, so your discard guy. You. Okay. I got you. I love me some discard. So I made this deck when Ravona Renslayer first dropped. I call oh. it Vampire Slayer. With the one with uh, Dracula Zola. Yes, sir. And, that uh, was me. Um, um, my boy Dokken. And Dokken too, yeah. Yes. Or Dokken, so I, or so Dakin, I, however you say it. So I always did the combination of Zola Dokken, mm -hmm. but I never thought of doing... It in discard. Uh, no, no. I didn't, never thought about doing it uh, Zola Dracula. Okay. Yeah. Now that's... So that I, was crazy. I can't say I came up with the Dokken Zola play. I'm pretty sure that was Binks or one of the other homies out there who discovered that play. But I do believe I was the first person to put Ravona Renslayer in discard in order to play Arnim Zola turn five. You have your Dokken or your Dracula down in the lane. You play Arnim Zola turn five because she's dis or uh, Ravona Renslayer discounts the Arnim Zola yes. five. You get the copies of the Dokkins in two lanes. You get those two additional shards in hand. And in that final turn, you drop the Modok. Yes. Clearing out your hand, you get 232 power Dokkins. I believe I was the first one to do that in a discard shell. So I so did it. That's I did kind it. of my claim to fame. I did it with Dokken with Destroy. Yes, Killmonger. Yeah, I did That was it, the yeah, way you would do it in the Destroy list. You would try and get him out early yeah. with the X-23, ramp it out, whatever it is, and then drop the Zola. And then you play on that final turn, your three shards and the Killmonger, and you get those 232 power Dokkins. But it does work in discard as well, especially with cards like Supergiant now, where you're able to play Dokken on turn three. Mm -hmm. You drop Supergiant on turn four. You can hide your Modok there on turn five till the end of the game. This way, the Modok doesn't reveal until the very end of the game. And then on turn six, you just play Zola normally. Now, see, now that's different. I don't rock with Super Giant, but I know the potential behind her. Like, She's a slept on card for sure. Super slept on. Especially in this meta now, I think you might see a bit of Super Giant resurgence with Lockdown not being as popular. You know, Eliath is a big... Uh, a big counter to that style because and those cards are just unrevealed. Yeah. War Machine being in the mix as well. But you do have, with Supergiant, 
the big turn five plays. Sarah, if you don't get your Sarah on turn five, you're screwed. All these surfer lists that have been coming around lately, if you don't get Sarah out on turn five, the uh, the Asgardians, Jane Foster, a big turn five play. If Supergiant doesn't allow you to play that on turn five, you're not getting those hammers back in your deck, and you're screwed for that final turn. Yeah. So I do feel like there is some value here with Supergiant. I know my stuff, guys. I know my stuff. No, I like it. Listen, listen. I do I, this. I play Snap. I play Marvel Snap. When I listen, I'm like, yes, correct. Yes. yes I know a few listen. things here or there. Man, shout out to Perry Mantle, man. Give this man a follow, bro. I've been watching your streams a lot. I know you're heavy on the Conquest. You know what I mean? Me too. That's love me my Love me some joint. Conquest. Love me some Conquest. I love me some Conquest. The fact that you can milk your deck to really know how it's supposed to work i actually feels like it gives me this this joy and satisfaction where i'm like man now this is how it works you know ranked is ranked obviously that's a different beast you know what i mean I one like ranked, game whatever the case may be but you know yeah I, I i you know you appreciate ranked they're quick games whatever i feel like you have to kind of play you don't have much opportunity for surprising people on the ladder compared to conquest yes yeah. so what i like to do in conquest is i want to try and get those big cube wins before you know what's good like, you're not expecting Zola in a discard deck. You're not expecting Shang-Chi in some of these decks. Yeah. So I want to make sure that I'm getting these cubes before you know what's good. Yeah. And that's where I feel like Conquest, you can retreat. You know, you don't have your combo in hand. Okay, fine. I'll pay a cube, but you ain't seeing what I have yet. Yeah, man. And that's where I feel like Conquest has that new level of mind games, being able to keep your opponent guessing and being able to surprise them and get those big cubes. That's wins. a fact, man. That's a fact, man. Look, at the end of the day, it's all about calling somebody's bluff. They've been in situations where I don't it's got poker. shit in my hands. Like, I literally look at my hands like, all right, I'm going to lose, but I'm still going to snap. Let me see what human error has to offer. When they see when they see that I'm snapping, they snap right back. Oh, no, they just retreat right after. Yep. That lets me know that not only are they locked into the game, but I can actually play that mind game against Such you, you know what I'm a, saying, which is amazing. Yes, and that, I imagine, takes an even bigger level here when you can actually see your competitors in front of you. Yeah. You can look right at their face and be like, this guy full of shit, or does he actually have... And then on top of that, now that I know your names, mm -hmm. now I know who I'm bumping into on Conquest and Rank. There's a couple of people I've seen. I'm not going to say no names. You're going to talk about that emote meta? Which one? I mean... That's I, the mind game. So I, 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 I drop an emotes. Are you someone who snaps and drops the snap emote? Like, are you gonna snap back? Are you gonna snap back? So I'm the guy. So I have the main. So I have all of the Jim Lee collection yep, done. I got that complete too. So you got the Magneto. Yeah, yeah. The Morpheus so, Magneto, I like to call him. So when they snap and it's like guarantee four or eight, that's when I'll use the Magneto. Nice. Now the thumbs up. Now it could, depending on who the player is that I'm doing it on. <laughs> It does seem like a respectful act. Like, yeah, man, good luck. But on certain situations, it Sick. does kind of make you look like a jerk. So, okay, I could be, I could keep it a buck. Now, yipes, I gotta tell you, you're toxic in the community, because in the Marvel Snap community, you know, you're not, you're, 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 you're a man between communities. You're, you're popping all over the place. It's hard for you to keep track of all this stuff. But I can tell you for a fact, in the Marvel Snap community, the Kamala Khan Miss Marvel thumbs up emote, that one, that is the toxic emote. That is. You do that, you're an asshole. So you may think, and I had a friend of mine say this exact same thing. He was like, oh, you know, I dropped the thumbs up. Like, good job. You played well. That is not how most people playing this game view that emote. So they me, view that as toxic. So, uh, all right. So I'm very good at identifying stuff like that. And yes, I did identify that that's the toxic emote. Yes. That's why I use fist bumps. The fist bumps the way to go. I use fist bumps and I use the Magneto one if I stole four to eight. Like, if I see the cubes incoming to my sp i use the magneto yes to let you know you know magnetizing you know this bringing it in i'm bringing them in now yeah yeah that's about it but i'm not trying to be a jerk now no, no. i'm just saying how other people on the other side who may not know you know they don't see your name on there they don't know who you are they just see a miss marvel emote coming down You're like this fucking guy well just know if i use the miss marvel emote on you i didn't like you homie that's it. I don't now care. Now he knows. Now no more excuses. That Patriot you played and I ain't have an Enchantress or Rogue mm. or, or, or a freaking Tribunal. Just know when I threw that thumbs down. I'm, <laughs> I'm not like that. I promise. As long People as you're not spamming. Strange. As long as you're not just mashing that button. No, no. I don't spam. I don't spam. Yeah, I don't spam. Those are the worst. I will say don't this, though. That, I will say this, though. I've done certain plays where people will get pissed off and they would use the Miss Marvel. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking like, man, are you actually giving me props or are you just being a no, they're being piece a of dookie? Okay. Yeah, they're being uh, a dookie. It is what it is. The props, I feel like, is the fist bump. You know, there have been times where, like, I'm playing a deck. You know, they're playing Spider-Man and they're doing all sorts of shit. And all of a sudden, Galactus comes down. You're like, well, that just took the pants off me. I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> so I, I just got to give it up. Fist bump, man. I got to right. give it up. So I think the only time I probably would have used the thumbs up straight up was Leech Season 1. Oh, yeah. If you pulled up with a Leech on me, like off, straight off of the 
the, the Lockjaw mm-hmm. or for the oh Wave. Oh, my God, the Lockjaw Thanos. Was yeah, the, that oh. was an instant retreat. Like, yeah. I'm talking about I never hit that fast. I've hit in combos faster. No, no, I've hit in retreat faster than the combos that I've done in Marvel 2. Yep. So, like, yeah. So, I understand. I didn't know. I did not know that was, a, like, a like a way to say that you're a jerk to the people that you're playing. That's I did what I'm not here know that. to. I'm here to educate the people. Thank there. you. So Thank you. Put me on. You know, the Miss Marvel... It's it's probably going to be replaced soon enough by another toxic emote, but that is the one that you're a jerk if you use. So now you know. Well, 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 Making the world a little less toxic one player at a time. Well, my name is the God MC on Conquest, if or just see, on Rank, but just know that if you see the Miss Marvel emote, that means I'm just being a jerk. Yep. And I don't like you. So are we just getting a note here from the producers? So are we gonna are we gonna switch commentators now? Okay, so we're currently having a uh, some difficulties getting both players set up on stream here. I think we're just gonna go to a quick break until we figure out what's going on, guys. So stay tuned. More Marvel Snap action coming your way in just a little bit.
live from the Daily Bugle.
Hey, what's yeah, going on, guys? Let's go. What welcome up, everybody? In, in. We are Brooklyn, baby. We home, baby. Live from Brooklyn. Let's go. That's right, that's right, that's right. All right, guys. We are in Brooklyn. Is New York's home of esports and gaming. 50 PCs and consoles to play on. Full kitchen and cocktail bar open to the public seven days a week. Let's go. And we are also powered by Marvel Snapcast. That's right, guys. Check out one of the best Marvel Snap podcasts with Cino and STG, the Marvel Snapcast, y'all. Let's go. That's right. We're also supported by our other sponsor, Marshall Base. Your, 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 portal to styles of past mm -hmm. the innovations of the present and the possibilities of the future that's right the mission is to make martial arts more accessible check out the brand new project at <laughs> marshallbase.com for mm -hmm. this we can only use the promo god fist that's right ladies and gentlemen you know we had to use the promo god fist right mm -hmm. for 10% off of any t-shirts at Marshall Base, you that's find right. their style today that's right 10% off any t-shirt guys go get yourself your t-shirt Marshall Base. Yes, this has been crazy day, bro. Yeah. This gotta, was insane. I got to take off the glasses. Got to get, yeah. Clark Kent. get Clark Kent out of here. Let's go. Let's we got to get, go. Superman Let's get out comfortable, here. bro. Let's do it. This is how we do. I can't wait. We got a good one coming up now, guys. Yes. We got, got a great match coming up now. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see what's about to pop off. That's right. We what's have... going on, bro? How do you feel? Oh, this has been crazy. It's been a great day. Been some crazy matches, both on and off screen. Um, I can't believe it, guys. We did it. We made it. This is something that we've been trying to do for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, it came to fruition. We are here. Shout out to Yipes and yep. Barry Manifold. They killed it, bro. They was violating over here. I was watching. I was like, let's go, guys. Ooh we we just we got more family. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Family on top of family. That's uh, right. Shout out to them putting in that work. Did a great job kicking off the wonderful broadcast. Now, we're here to finish it up for you guys that's right we're here to do a good job have a good time you already know who we are most of you guys know who we are mm -hmm. but if you don't <laughs> check it out i am the top five best snappers in the world see no see no see no see no see no because i snapped that high fight you hurt that's right and i'm the super tech god aka the super variant god why because we have every variant every variant yeah. every variant let's go in the game Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a great matchup coming up for you guys shortly. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. We have The Ooh. Flash. That's right, Game of Game Flash of Flash versus X. the community's chat member. Yes, Timmy in the Timmy. building. You guys know Timmy. Troubadour in the right. building. <laughs> you Let's go. Timmy all over the interweb, especially in the chats. Now, Shout guys, Flash has been killing it all day today, okay? He is right now 4-0. Oh, no losses. He is taking no losses with Discard, and he claims that he is bringing Discard back. That's right. He is bringing it back. Uh, I don't know where it went, but it's back now. That's right. It's going to be a great <laughs> matchup. Cannot wait to see this um, Flash 4 now. That's right. And Timmy, Timmy's coming with a pretty traditional type of move card list, which is interesting because I believe he's the only one really running move in this tournament right now, guys. All oh, right. here we go. Let's start. So there we go. As you guys can see, Flash has a starting hand out with Meek, Colleen, the Collector, and APOC. Mm -hmm. And there go that move deck. All right. Seen him been talking about pause. There's that <laughs> move card list. <laughs> <laughs> Seen him been talking about. Yeah, great <laughs> portal in the mid, guys. We got Necrocia on the left. Meek being played. So we get a copy of each other's. Oh, no. You get a 10, call, uh, 10 power card for each person. The 10 power was Thanos for our boy. And we have, what do we get up there? Hellcat. It looks nope. like a scar, scar, actually. Yes, excuse me. All right, we have the uh, collector in the mid. Craven played on the left on the Crocia. Atillion coming up on the right. So it's going to shuffle all the cards back into the deck, and we'll get a new hand, guys. Looks like we're getting a Human Torch play and Ghost Spider play by our boy Timmy. I think he made that mistake. He wants to put Human Torch somewhere else. Yes. And then pulled. There he goes. He corrected right. it. There he it corrected. He saw it. Shout out to the chat, of course. We got Ooh. little Robo Tussin out there. Flat yes. Mighty B. Gooey Kaboom. Look at that. The Corvus Grave. Glaive play on the right. There we go. Grabbing the Human Torch going into the Crocia. Giving that Craven that buff. Yes. And, of course, Human Torch. All right. So now the hands will shuffle. What do they get? Now, this is interesting, right? Uh, he has Heimdall in his hand. You've already set up a lot on the right. Oh. Timmy is not taking any chances, y'all. Timmy heard the snap and said, nope. 
I'm wants. getting out of here with just one life. With a good job. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. think Flash is too focused. He's not paying attention. But Timmy, giving that respect right there, shaking his head in approval of uh, Flash's uh, snap right there. Flash got his music going. You see his head popping. He's not trying to look at nothing. He's like, I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> that is a focused man right there. He ain't playing no games. With yes. All right. We got the nice. Look at that Craven variant right there. Sweet ink split. Yes. Got the ink that. crackle on there. Ooh, snap coming Ooh, back down. Ooh, wait, Flash. wait, no. Flash. And Timmy says Timmy not said today. not today. He will not play out the snaps. Timmy is looking well, over at Flash for some sort of... <laughs> Some sort of uh, acknowledgement, and Flash is not giving it to but, him. But listen out here. You have at least the first four rounds to retreat if you feel like it's not working in your favor. But here, Shuri's lab is here. Ooh. This is where Gaming with Flash can retreat. Yes. Because Timmy this is not in his might favor. have the advantage here, but let's see. Okay, we have the blade play on Shuri's lab. Oh, Proximia done. She gets discarded, placed on the field in the mid. Human Torch gets the double buff. Huh. There we go. Tustin is absolutely right. Flash does have that banging turtle soundtrack playing in his ear right now. <laughs> Mark 5. Welcome All to right. Day. And also, a happy belated <laughs> birthday to Flash. He was uh, celebrating his birthday a couple days ago. So, That's happy correct. birthday to him. Cloak play in the mid on Westview. Let's see what happens, guys. Based on his hand right now, it looks like he's going to move over, of course, Ooh, that wonderful card to the that. mid. Getting that buff there. And, of course, Flash has probably also tech. Yeah, we know, but this is going to happen now. That's going to help him out there in the mid. But, of course, on the right side, when that time is ready, if you want to fill up the raft, good luck. Oh, uh, no is there play on the raft down. for our boy Timmy. So, oh, wait, for, uh, Timmy played the Negasonic. No, That's correct. No play for uh, Flash on the right. So, therefore, the next play he has will be destroyed. So, Timmy has the advantage on the raft so far and moves that Human Torch to the mid, gets that knife buff with the plus three power. Tech, what do you think? What is your strategy here if you're Timmy? So if you're Timmy, what you're going to do is you're going to want to play that heat, that iron fist, and try to either play vulture over on Shuri's lab or dagger in the mid. So iron fist definitely has to go down. Yes. The decision is to use one of these. Okay. So I would definitely go over to um, the mid so it gets to Shuri's lab or play it there so that you can play Humdo in the last turn and Humdo will move everything to that Shuri's lab. So it looks like we have the... Okay, so we have the Raft now. We got the zero eleven 11 Orca. Iron Fist will move Dagger to the right. She will the get left. the proc... I mean, to the left, excuse me. Um, from the right, I meant. Yes. Uh, she'll get the proc in the mid. So he's doing all the right things right now. Timmy snapped also, guys, last turn. So he feels confident. We're discarding if, all that. If Look I'm that. Timmy, I'm very confident. Because mm. once that Hercules goes over and bounces back, it's a wrap. At this point, you play Orca. Ooh, on Shuri's lab and get mm, the buff? I don't know. You see, the tough part here is he would have wished he had that open space on the left. Because then, you know, he could pull everything and then play Orca. Right. So in this case, he could still do that. See, Heimdall ruins that, right? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. So what he yeah. needs to do is play Heimdall left first. But is the 22 good enough? Huh? You don't need the buff from Orca. That's what he needs to do. Play Humble yes. on the left first and then play Orca on the there right. There we go. So guys. everything moves to the left mm -hmm. and then Orca wins the raft. I like it. That's why Let's Timmy's see what happens confident. here, guys. This is getting sweaty a little bit. It's Timmy, getting sweaty Timmy, a little no, bit. Timmy, you had it right the first time. Oh, no. T Timmy, no. Oh, wait. He Timmy is. He figures. Because to me, you're not winning that left lane. If, if Flash plays anything in Shuri's lab, which he did not. No. Okay, so he is winning that lane. Yes, he was banking on. He was yep. banking on that. He yep. was banking on Swarms that. Swarms played on the raft. Will to get destroyed by Negasonic. Corvus Glaive discarding the Apocalypse to 14. Swarm being played also on the raft now. Dracula discards the Apocalypse to 18 and gets 22 because it is the highest card in the mid. But not enough. Timmy gets the victory here, guys, and takes four lives away from gaming. So what Timmy did there was just awesome. Timmy decided to say, you know what? Flash knows I'm going to play Humdell, so he's going to try to win the right lane. So this is what Timmy did. Timmy said, not today. We're not playing Humdell. We're going to do it this way. S making Flash play out the way he did, and that way now Timmy takes that victory. 
Ooh, snap on ego. We just had this conversation Ooh. with Flash. And I do not snap on ego. I said I don't you know. guys need to snap. I on hate ego. fucking ego. And I can't stand him. Look at this. Here we go. So it, ego plays the ghost spider, and it plays the Colleen wing on the left. I think our guys are now seeing the ending of that the match. last game. Yes. Yes. Come on, Here, guys. A lot you of have cheers. to snap. Oh, we got Negasonic being played on the left with ego. Snap or ban. Touch it. I'm with you. Snapper, you must leave the tournament. Oh my goodness. I don't agree with either one of you. Proxima gets the discard and gets placed in the mid on Ego. All right, guys. Let, let's be real here. Let's be real, Cena. Ego playing Discord is way better than Ego playing Move. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, yes, Timmy, that is true. Timmy, uh, Timmy's in a bad space where, yes, that is where true. Flash can just Especially snap. Especially with. Be happy. Dagger being placed in deep space at this current moment, but you can move it with Cloak being played. I don't know how. I don't know how Ego plays this out, Ken. How uh, does this work? Uh, Ego's gonna move Dagger. That's the that's what's going to do. Okay, it moves Ghost Spider though. I mean, sorry, not move Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said he can play. And move Ego Walter would play Discord play way Walter. better than he would play. <laughs> <laughs> This so is, if you are Timmy, you are thinking about hitting that retreat button, right? He, that's why I said Flash should have snapped a long time ago. <laughs> Flash I would have snapped. Is not, Flash is feeling uh, okay, so deep space Heimdall is not flattering to our boy Timmy, which wouldn't really help him anyway on the left. Uh yes, Timmy, you are smart to retreat. Hits the retreat later, which I also think is smart, just in case Flash was feeling like he couldn't win. Yeah. But, but I, Mm -hmm. Like I said, I felt if I was Flash, I was snapping from Ego. Just on the strength of his Ego, but nonetheless, knowing that Ego would play Discord way better than he would play. Now, I agree with you. Fight. I agree with you. Ego did work out way more in Flash's advantage than it did Timmy, which uh, should have led to an aggressive gaming uh, with Flash X snap, but didn't. He played very conservative right now. He lost the match before that, so I think he's feeling like, let me be careful uh prior to the match we did get to talk to gaming and he was like uh expecting kind of his card list to not draw once it's time to draw but uh so far it's he's not in a bad spot so let's see we got craven in the mid on gamma lab and we have a card by gaming in the in the left on dr mention machine world procs on the right which nobody ever loves to see if you really think about it we got negasonic procking in the i mean excuse me negasonic being played in the left on gamma lab waiting for timmy to play there to destroy whatever card he plays there won't even matter corvus will proc but will get destroyed yep and then hulk will only go to the proximal on machine world will only go to great. timmy's side yes smart play by timmy yes making sure that he gets the hulk because yes. there's no so far we feel there's no shang cheese in flash's card list so that middle lane will be tough to beat and now with playing these cards kind of fill up your opponent's hand that's right um flash is in a bad way at this moment okay we have a ghost spider played it on machine world moving a hulk to the the right we Smart have play. iron fist moving dagger to the left getting that proc from that play over there on dream di on dark dimension collector being played on gamma lab which I don't know if I would contest mid anymore. But then again, you don't really want to play on uh, right. But I don't think your opponent really helps with collector. So I think I would have played collector right. But he does have that Hulk there. It's really hard. And don't forget Machine World. You don't want to play. Yeah, that, yeah that's opponent. what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't really want to play there. But I don't think your opponent can use collector. So that's fair. you would want to just clog up the hand a little bit. So we have Human Torch being played on Machine World. So Timmy feels the same. Timmy feels like Human Torch doesn't help his opponent at all. He's going to go play there. He's going to play Hercules mid. And then we have Flash with the MODOK mid on Gamma Lab. Discarding the Apocalypse, which is smart. So we can assume, okay, discarding the Hellcarrier, getting a whole new hand. We can assume that Dark Dimension has Dracula. 100%. I mean, that's the way it should go. But this is the hard part, because now you got to play everything in your hand. Right. To hope that Dracula hits Apoc. Well, he didn't have many cards left. He played Modok. So he doesn't have... He has maybe one more card and 
Apocalypse in his hand, right? Well, now. no, no, in his hand. Flash got a oh, whole bunch. Oh, yes, he has Hell Carrier. He the Hell Carrier, Craig. Thank correct. you. So Thank correct. you. Hell, Hell Carrier, excuse me. So you want to get all the small power cards out of your hand yes. in hopes that at least if he hits one of the big ones, you should still be able to beat <laughs> whatever. <laughs> big ones. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's <laughs> over at Dark Dimension, because we all know Hamdel is coming now. Yes, no, we do. Pause. And when Hamdel shows up, it's going to be a problem. Yes, we do. Yeah, Riley's now in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Riley's here. Shout out to Riley. We got to chill with Riley out here, man. Her daughter's out here killing Yes, me. little Riley is bodying this tournament, guys. Just letting you know, she is doing big things. I am not sure how she's doing right now, but I'm pretty sure good. <laughs> Look at her. I work for FedEx Express. They'll F it up. <laughs> Look at her. You're a funny guy. All right, so right now we are back it. in chat. Phaser snap in the building. What's going on? Okay, guys, we are waiting. We are waiting. We got the Heimdall play on Gamma Lab. We don't know what Flash is doing. Does Flash retreat? Is he thinking about retreating? He is has to think about it because it's a very tough one, and he does. Ooh, Flash said no bueno, no thank you. So, Fred, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got Timmy tonight. is trying to get Flash's attention to get on the and Flash is heads. not succeeding. Okay, so listen up, guys. So. Pickles acts their bracket. No, this is not a bracket style tournament. This is just a Swiss. This is six rounds. Mm -hmm. Everybody plays six rounds, and the top mm -hmm. four will be the last to be showcased. There is a pool of seven hundred fifty dollars that will go to the top four, but it seems like that pool just got bigger, almost to a thousand. We'll see what happens. Nonetheless, that's how it's working. It will be the top four out of the six rounds yeah, absolutely round absolutely now we have the craven play on sakar with proximia being played there also okay hotel inferno plays the morbius kills negasonic iron fist kills calling wing let's go so we could assume I yes a human torch is being played but will be punched over to hotel inferno so that's not going to help you win raft you have beast which could beast back oh that's what he's thinking. Is he thinking mid? Yes, it will be back. Human Torch, Iron Fist, and he will do. He'll look to do it again. Looks like it. I mean, the way it looks. Okay, we have the discard of Apocalypse, so it procs the Mobius, Morbius, and Meek does get a proc. Also, Human Touch, Human Torch being pushed to the left, and the Beast just like we thought, guys. So he will, with the cost reduction, so he has Iron Fist and Human Torch at a zero cost, guys. Which is kind of big. He could play Cloak now, move all, uh, you know. I don't think he should that. play Cloak now, but, well, he should play Cloak after the fact, yes. Yes. But the there fact we. that he can now. Well, see, there you go. He's going to play Hulk Cloak now, which I don't see why you play Cloak on the right. Because you want to get the Raft and get that Well, you zero get the cost. Raft, but you can't move anything really over. Yeah, you'll move the Iron, you move oh, the Iron Fist torch. Punch Out Human, human Torch. torch correct. Back. And correct. Loki picked up a block. Correct. So. Yeah, this which, works and out. you can move Human Torch back to the right. That's correct. Come on. Or, you, or you can move Dagger back to the right. Correct. Whichever one you choose. Well, Dagger it is because he already Iron Fisted Fisted dagger. it to the right, yeah. yes. Which is Pulse. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Which Can't be crazy. on stream with Cino. Right? <laughs> Cino's out here talking reckless. A little bit. <laughs> talking a little recklessness. Insane. All right. So he moves the dagger to the right, like we said. Hercules, Hercules, and he's thinking Hercules, Hercules. Timmy is not sure where to place Hercules. He's placing it to the mid, which is smart for me because I think Hercules slapping it to the left to Craven is uh, what he's aiming to do. We have. Apocalypse being discarded, so it goes up to 14. We have <laughs> Apoc. There we go. We got Meek being procced up to three, guys. See, no, being extra tonight, guys, as you can see. I'm being extra? Yeah, definitely. See, no, don't play move. You guys can tell you don't play move. But he's doing a great <laughs> job, though. See, he's doing a great job. What are you talking about? What did I say wrong? <laughs> Fisted him to the left, to the right. <laughs> 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 that is hilarious. Come on, come on now. Stop. That is, I didn't, I didn't even realize stop, I said that. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, boss. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I'm done. All right, we All have right. the blob play in Hotel Inferno. <laughs> here's, here's what gets With really important, guys. Play. This is Flash's last chance. If Flash loses, he's out. I mean, mm -hmm. not out. He loses. He but loses. He'll go to four and one. <laughs> yes, correct. But so. that's sitting still pretty. So well, I mean, look at. I don't think he loses this round. I think what he's playing right now should help a win. He should have the left lane. Hamdel is not. Hamdel's moving cards to the left. Okay, Apoc can beat 
the left lane. APOC will beat the left lane. Actually, wait a minute. No, what are we seeing here? The math don't math up. This is going to be tough. Blob is going to eat up the rest. Yeah, this is yep. a tough one. I don't see it. Ooh, no. Oh. I don't see it. Oh, oh, oh. yes, I do. Yep, there APOC it is. does it. There it is. APOC gets discarded. Dracula procs up to 19 and takes the win yes. for Flash, which is crazy <laughs> right there, guys. That was a ill play. Flash did the hey, math. Thank you, Guru. Thank you. And he knew he was coming out on top. Timmy a little yeah, bit uh, aggravated by that. Look, look, looking now, now, for. Now, now he's coming out on top. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, see that? Cena's done. I'm done with oh it. Oh, my I'm God. I'm done with Cena right See, now. See, I'm the one trying to be professional Yo, right now. That's very true, Gooey. Gooey, Gooey. Gooey. Oh, okay. Heim Heimdall loses the game because people can know. Cena is a raw commentator. To the commentator? Left. Yes, I am, Phaser. I am to raw. All right, we have the Craven play in the mid on Sewer System with Meat play on Camp Lehi. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Colleen Wing discarding the Swarm, giving them the zero threes up there. Craven sitting in the middle, nice and pretty. Yes. All right, Daily Bugle feeding your opponent cards from each other's hand. And what a card for him to get. It's just APOC, and he got Iron Fist. Yes. Neither one can really help the other. But then let's see how they play it out. I'm looking to see what could happen here. We got the Iron Fist play, which is interesting. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have Iron Fist coming down. You know what the next card will be. It has to be <laughs> Thank Vulture. You. Thank you, Guru. I appreciate you. Daily Bugle on the right, guys. Now Storm. So Flash said, I don't want Daily Bugle. Camp Leahy gave me a Storm. I'm going to use it. Iron Fist being played. Parks down to one. Here we go, Vulture. Like said, Vulture comes over. And then the Ghost Spider to bring it back. Guaranteeing him winning flooding. That's pretty clever. Yeah, he guarantees he wins the flood. He wants to get the right. He's saying, well, it depends. The issue, the issue here is he cannot play Hamdell. Heimdall should be off his board of power. Heimdall takes away flooding, right? Correct. So, so in this case, the only way he would play Heimdall is if, if, he, he, needs to, if he needs to win the mid. Yeah. And the left. Yeah. Right. All right. We got three cards being played by Flash, Morbius, Iron Fist, and Swarm. S punching the Swarm out to the mid. Giving the buff to... Craven, which I'm very confused that he yes, did that. Yes, I'm not sure why that play was done. Okay, Vulture being, there we go, and Ghost Spider bringing Vulture to the right, procking it up, but he does still have Morbius over there, but damn, 17 is a lot to have to compete that, with. That's what I'm saying. So right now, he cannot play Heim, though. I think he's praying that his, his opponent is going to play Heim. Flash is praying his opponent plays Heimdall to get him out of that location, try to win with Morbius. I like what Timmy's doing here. Fill up his hand. Filling up the board for flash on that side because if he does fill up his hand he's guaranteed that he can definitely win that, that left lane oh and there it is yep beast goes over to the other and side it, what making Are it that doing? only one card can be played there now you go ahead and empty out so the worst case scenario a zero oh well no even better oh, than that fast now. forwarding we have 11 on the left guys with nine in the mid with Ghost Spider and Vulture winning for our boy Timmy on the right with 17. You do drag here, Gooey. I do see it, but here's the problem now, right? Because, oh boy. You have to kind of Heimdall. Yeah. You got to Heimdall, right? Yeah. You got to play Craven. Yeah, because to move at to this left. point, you don't want to try to tie because Dracula will tie that right side, right? Yeah. If Dracula discords. But wait, there's no Dracula in his hand. No. But Timmy doesn't know that. So no. at this point, Timmy tries to win the left and the mid. That's right. But yeah, that is his best play. Hamdel is the best play to win here. This is a tough one. Yes, Timmy. I mean, yes, you guys are absolutely right. Professor X will shut shit down if he plays Professor now, X. Now, if Timmy does not play this right, he is done, guys. He will, He's not eliminated, but he will lose this game no, to this gaming, is, which will go to 5-0. and oh. This is the if best If gaming play. does not, he has another life here, so there is a tomorrow for gaming, but then he would have to play cautiously because he would then move to 4-1. and one. Oh, and it, oh and here we go. Meek. We got the Apocalypse play on the left with Swarm. Heimdall play on the left for Timmy. Timmy moves. Timmy wins. Craven to the left with Iron Fist gets the buff, goes to 24. 20 and Timmy 20. Wins. There we go. Timmy gets the victory. No, it's not over. It's, it's not, not over, over, guys. 
There's it's one more energy. It's not over. They think it's over. There's one more energy. Oh no! They just they just respect each other. They're just giving each other respect right yeah, now. Like that more, game was crazy. There's one more energy, guys. There's one more energy. They're just showing each other respect. No, I think you thought it was over for real. Oh, okay. <laughs> but either way, we got one more energy left, guys. That was a great, great, great matchup. I don't know, Ken. I think, I think, yeah, see, they know. I think they right. think, yeah. they were like, yo, that game was super sweaty, and let me show my opponent some respect for he, that. He needed to give him respect because, again, he thought he was not going to play on the right side. This is the second time Timmy has done something that Flash did not expect. Yes. And Flash is just shocked to see what Timmy's doing. Timmy's yes. putting in that work. Timmy is playing move. Guys, like the move Timmy is, is now the guy sitting here saying, I have a tomorrow. So, what's up, buddy? Welcome in, buddy. I don't have to snap. I could play this out Can't just the way it, it is. <coughs> See if I win. If I don't, I could play another game. I don't care. Flash is the one that has the pressure on him right now. So, that is ironic because Flash was sitting pretty two seconds ago. So, let's see what happens. We have Craven played on Kylan with Collector on Flash's side. We have. I can't even pronounce the, f the first Orcus. Orcus Forge. Did I do it right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Orcus Forge. Nice. I, I love it. Giving you a free Sentinel on the right. Hala on the left. We have Negasonic being played in Kylan, which is smart. <laughs> That's right, Mighty B. He definitely did. Okay. okay awesome. Thank you. you. I love the production. Yes. <coughs> All right. We're debating on Hercules on the mid. Oh, no. Uh, hey, enough Timmy, popping. I agree, where buddy. are we going to do? Where are we going to put Hercules? Okay, we put Hercules back in our hand. So, Hercules and Kyle makes a lot of sense. Let's, let's see what we got here. Thank you. Appreciate you. She won? Good job. All right. All right, guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All Shout right, so there we go. Riley. She you. was very helpful just now. All right. So we have Human Torch and Vulture being played on the right. I didn't see, was something destroyed just now by Negasonic? No, not no, yet. Not yet. We have the Morbius and Dracula play on the right, which is probably why nothing was destroyed. So now Flash sees Negasonic there. Do you abandon the mid tech? At this point, as, Fla as Flash, yes, you have to abandon the mid. There's nothing you can do. Right. Can't play anything there. It's a wrap. Let the mid go, because at the end of the day, if he does play Hamdal, you can't beat it. The mid is not yours anymore. Right. So your goal is to focus on the locations you can play on. Right. And that's the right and the left side. So we got Corvus played on the left, guys. Proxima got discarded, moves to the right. We have Morbius on the right with Blade So and Dracula. So it's fair to assume that gaming has the right. We have Helicaria played on the left with the Heimdall play. To knock Craven to the right. I don't think he wanted that. I don't think Timmy wanted that to happen. Oh, wow. We got love being showed here. And it's over. We got love being showed here. It is a wrap. It is looking like gaming with Flash X goes to 5 and oh baby. This is crazy. Gaming is dominating right now. G, G, ladies and gentlemen. He brought his discard card list, guys. And he said, I am going to rule the tournament with discard how do you feel tech i feel great man this is a great matchup yeah. this is phenomenal flash going up and back and forth with timmy uh we don't know who's gonna win timmy playing an amazing move deck yeah. shout out to timmy because i'm a big fan of hercules as you guys know so timmy bringing hercules to the tournament doing his thing is awesome yeah. but i'm also a bigger fan of discord and gaming did his job flash shout out to you buddy congratulations on that close win Thanks for giving props to Timmy. Yes. Because, again, this is what it's all about, guys. Having fun with the community. One being a community member and one being a streamer. This is amazing. I yes, that choice. was a dope match. That was so close, too. It looked like Flash was, like, really sweating it out there. Yes. Timmy really made a, a great opponent. Agreed. That was crazy. Yeah, Jake. Flash did win. Mm-hmm. Did we? <laughs> we did. Did Flash not win? Yeah, I think Flash won. For sure Flash won. All right, so we're going to be back in a second. We're waiting yeah. for the other matches. But in the, until the meantime, let's definitely look at what we have going on here. So the, the way the format is, again, it is six rounds mm -hmm. of Swiss. Everybody plays. In those six rounds, we then get our top four. 
and the top four will then play each other for the prize pool. Now, at this moment, like I said, it was 750 as we started this, but I heard it grew. We don't know the final price yet, but we will get either way, that, yeah. 750 or higher. That is amazing for a community-driven tournament That's sponsored right. by of course these amazing sponsors the number one being where we are located currently That's right and that is brooklyn yes that's right snap city so located in brooklyn mm -hmm. new york brooklyn is new york's home for esports and gaming 50 pcs and consoles to play on full kitchen cocktail bar open to the public not one not two not three not four not five not six but seven days a week ladies and gentlemen and of course powered by the one and only, your favorite Marvel Snapcast podcast, the Marvel Snapcast. That's right. And, of course, we have myself and Cena dropping podcasts every week, as you guys know. Check us out over on YouTube. Just look up Marvel Snapcast. That's and then right, not, guys. let's not forget the one and only Marshall, Marshall Bass. Yes. These guys are phenomenal. They want to make sure and make martial arts accessible to everyone. That is their mission. So make sure you guys check out the brand new project at MarshallBase.com. And for this weekend only, don't forget to use the promo code GODFIS for 10% off any t-shirts on Marshall Base for Find Your Style today. Okay, yep. All right, guys. So we'll be back. We're going to head to a break, and we'll be back for the next matchup as we get down to the final round, which is round six before the top four. See you guys soon.
All right, guys, we are yeah. back. This is the final round yeah. six of Swiss. We have a big main event, guys. We have Little Raleigh, aka Cat, Little Raleigh versus the one and only D Man Falcon. That's right. You guys know both of them from the chats. Yep. Winner goes to top four. Loser had a great run. That's right. Can I wait to see what happens? Who do you have winning this one? I know you have a pick. Oh, there goes Falcon on the right and <coughs> Little Raleigh on the left. Guys, Little Riley has been killing it all day today, all right? She's only lost one match. I believe she's 5-1 and one, or 4-1. That's right. 4-1, and one, excuse me. And Falcon also has been killing it today. So, it's going to be a great match. We've started. I think I think Little Riley might take this one, Ken. Who, who are you picking in this one? It's tough for me to choose. I don't know who could win this one. But I see D-Man Falcon has my favorite card in the game up there, the Infinite. So, I'm not going to pick anyone. I'm just going to go ahead and... Go through the match to see what goes on. So we have the Vault coming up and Utopia, <coughs> which is a location I think Second Dinner should turn the knob a little bit more on. I would love <laughs> to see this location. You're a favorite of Utopia. Utopia is so good. Look at what it does. It gives you three Tech or four costs. Tech loves cost. himself some Utopia, guys. Three and four costs one less. Let's go. Right, there we go. We All right, the Corvus. Corvus on the left on the Vault. Discarding the Ronin. I didn't see what happened before then. Red Hulk goes up to a 15. Utopia. Nothing on Utopia. So it looks like... Corvus is our only play. Okay, with little Riley coming through with the Hell Cow. Hoping it does not hit Hella, but let's see. Let's it see. hits Proxima? Nope, it hits it's Enchantress. Enchantress. And, and Morbius. Morbius. Not bad, that's fine. Yeah. You don't want it to hit Hella. She was hoping for the Proxima, I believe, <laughs> to be uh, discarded there, but it's okay. Of course. It's fine. And here we she have comes the Captain, with the Captain Marvel. Marvel. She's the only person in this tournament so far bringing Captain Marvel to. That's too. right. It's very interesting. Which is very interesting indeed. Yeah. Now we have in Falcon's hand. Oh, Falcon hey, plays the Sandman, which means R little Riley can only play. Oh, she can only play one card at a time now. So hopefully, uh, that's fine. She has both Hella and Ghost Rider in hand. Yes. All she really needs to do is discard something. Yes, she has to well, hope. Well, she's discarded Morbius and something else. Yes. Yeah, so now she's got to hope she plays Hella next. I mean, I don't know if Dead Man Falcon expected the Hella to be still in hand. Ooh, Let's so see she's what he's contesting. Plays. All three except the uh, okay, left goes to is. Falcon. Red Hulk taking the mid. Utopia. Red Hulk proccing to 23, guys. This is insane. All right. The vault closes out. There what is. There is. So here it is. There's no Doom play. Mm -mm. You can pull Jubilee and hope you pull the cards you need. But at the end of the day, let's see what happens. All right. And all right. He's thinking about it. He plays Blade. No, he can't play two cards. He plays Blade instead. No, he goes back. He's thinking about it because Hella on the right is the best play for her. Not only does it help with giving Hell Cow some extra buff, making it 13 on the right, but it also helps because if Hella plays those cards on the left lane, all we got to see is Captain Marvel fly to the lane Ooh, she needs for the win. Yes. This is going to be real spicy, guys. This is insane <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Let's see what happens here, guys. Okay, so we have the Jubilee pull on the right. What does she pull? What does she pull? Hella also, which brings back Electro. And Ronin. And Ronin on the right. Now, does... Uh, wait, we got the Morbius. We got the Enchantress. Which shuts, shuts off the Shuts down Ronin. the Ronin. Does she put something left? No, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, Marvel will go flies left. left. And takes the Let's go. Let's what? little rally. What taking four lives. Look at that smile, guys. <laughs> she is not playing around. That innocent <laughs> smile is dangerous. Don't be fooled. What a match. What a play. Again, Little Riley has been doing her job. Let's go. The Captain Marvel. I told you guys it is a surprise. She's the only one that brought it to the tournament and has been saving her time after time. Now we have Mojo World. One of the best locations in the game. Why? Because it forces your opponent to go ahead and stack that location. Okay, again, Red Hulk showing its ugly face. <laughs> yeah, he's rocking up to 15, y'all. And we have Mindscape in the mid, just depressing everybody at this current moment. So Little Riley has to be upset because Hella is now affected. And Deadman Falcon has to be upset because now, oh, well, no, he discarded that Red Hulk. He said, excuse me, he said, never mind, I'll bring it back. Yeah, but at a low number. All right, so she's going early now because she wants to discard something out of her hand. Uh, she better hope it's not. Ooh. Ooh, we going with the electro, but the, don't hit the electro because that's gonna help. Don't hit the and electro. Hits Ooh, blade. the blade. That's what you want to hit in that situation, don't you think? Yeah, taking three points off the board. Yeah, and taking something out of Mojo World. Yeah, 
forcing your opponent to have to play not want to hit that electro but here's the problem okay her hand has hella okay mindscape will give your opponent hella okay now you pull back that red hulk now okay here we go we got ronin on the left now so your issue here Oof. now you should play hell cow yes. to give your opponent no cards in your exactly. hand exactly and that's exactly what she, she plans is to looking. do oh no she puts it back down no, but wait, don't, let's wait let's she do it she does it she, she does is it. committing she does it because now you get magneto you get odin you get so many cards wait 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 she's gonna put well, it somewhere she's gonna else put it on the right i don't know if i would have went right with it i well. probably would have went left no i get it why not yeah give up Six. that lane and you give him nothing to play except whatever he draws on the next turn. And you gotta hope it's not Hella. <laughs> this is my favorite card in the game, if not. But now. It looks like Little Riley. She plays, she plays take... Magneto. She pulls. Ooh, Magneto being a better play. She pulls the cards Electro out, out, out of, of Mojo World. Mojo World, yes, which probably is the best play here right now what card was this she's going in? ghost rider and it was uh oh hella two, the hella, hella and, and yeah and the, and the yeah yes. i don't think demon when any love falcon you know, any of that yes yeah, she gives him the, the look like yes that was that look that side eye like thank god he retreated let's go she's feeling good she's breathing look at that falcon is really sitting here thinking he's pondering right now he's like what do i have to do to win this all right we come back into it now we are on to the next round. Asgard in the first location. This is interesting. Both players have skipped no play on one. Here we go. And no Turkey. Red Hulk. You should be happy about that. Yes. Here we go. We have Vibranium Mines in the mid. We got the Blade play on the left. Oh, he cannot play anything. Demon Falcon has nothing but big cards in his hand. She discarded her Enchantress, <laughs> right? Which probably would have helped her with the Ronin right there sitting in Falcon's hand. She, she has Hella. She does have She's Hella, but she has to... That. Pray that Hella RNGs it to Ronin. She's hoping for that. And then she got Sentry, which doesn't help her at all. But let's no. see. She gets a discount, and then she has a decision to make. So She's going to play her favorite card in the game. Captain Marvel to probably win the left. That's what she's trying to do. Get that two-card draw right now. Here we go. What is Fal Oh, there goes Falcon with the Jubilee. What is Jubilee? Pull Corvus. Which gets rid of Hella. And Magneto, and Magneto. which is probably the worst thing that could and possibly she gets happen to, draw, to Falcon at this which, moment. Which discarded Black Cat. And now all she needs to do is play whatever she needs to. The guys, way. I don't know. We might be seeing a future streamer in the process here, guys, because little Roddy has been killing it all day today. Father Newman, yes. His luck demon falcon's luck draw has been so bad it is i think if cat wanted to she could put the pressure the pedal to the metal and just snap proxima gets discarded going oh my to the god going lane. to the right there and we go gambit she plays hella gambit comes back discards one of the cards okay there goes ronin and, and enchantress <laughs> comes back also oh my goodness guys this is going to she be she plays hella well you want to play hella are you gonna play Hella, little there you Raleigh? Go. She's smart. Oh, and she and snapped. She, snap she is putting the foot on the neck there. I think we see a retreat from Falcon. I don't think Falcon wants any of the smoke. What do you think, Tech? I think he plays Doctor Doom when he nope. Needs. He is retreating. Yeah. It, yep. That's Falcon it. has retreated. She, I don't think, realizes. Wait, did she end her turn? I'm not sure if she did or not. She might have to end her turn. I don't think she realizes she didn't end her turn. Right. She didn't realize it. She, Nonetheless. She hasn't, yeah, she has not realized she hasn't ended her turn yet. But because Falcon has retreated, so technically it would have procced immediately. If well, he did retreat only. Yeah, it would have done if she, yeah, if she had turn. played already. She has not realized that. I don't think she, well, it's okay. It's counting down. Yeah, so we can so, just sit back and relax. So yeah. looking at her card list here, yeah, this game was a W for her. There was no way yeah. he could have won. With those cards yeah. discarded, Gambit, come back, take a card out your lane. Yeah. You don't know where Enchantress would go, but if it goes on the left, bye-bye to Ronin. And, of course, she had that big nine power card as well from Black Cat. So, yeah. No, this is the best play for... Is Little Robin just thinking about it? I think she might just be sitting there. I'm not sure. No, I think she thought... That she ended her turn? Yes. Victory. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> or she just wrote to play the pressure. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, but, uh, hey, she is killing it right now. She has this calm face on right now. 
She is sitting there scot free. She has time to play. She can play all day if she wants. Listen, don't sleep though. D Man Falcon is a great player. Yes. He has a great card list. Made he it just, to the finals of the STG Discord that's uh, right. tournament. That's right. He just to battled jo- uh, Brocola. He just so, needs a good draw. Joe Brocola. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. We got Zabu coming down in the yes. mid. She don't want that rock on her and side. Yo and field. Heim on the left. Eternity range in the mid, guys. Let's see what Prox on the right. Little Riley is impressing today. Uh, Super Tech. 100%. All right. Black Cat goes. She does have Ghost Rider to bring it back. Now, of course, nothing plays over Ooh, on she looks to the right. Was and that there like... there is a space thrown coming down. So what do you do here? I don't know if you saw that little look to the right. It was kind of like, what are you bringing here, buddy? Like, bring it on. This is going to be tough because at this point, mm -hmm. she has a decision to make. She, she played, sure does. She played Blade to get rid of Ghost Rider. Mm, I don't know if I would go that far. Yep, she knows what she's doing. Well, she says, if I play Hella, it'll bring back Ghost Rider, who will bring back whatever else is discarded. Infinite and Magneto goes. Yes. Nobody gets to rock, but I think that's what she was playing for, to not nope. get a rock on her side. But she did end up getting Mobius. So now, again, it comes down to, do we discard these two cards and hope for Hella? Or do we go ahead and play Gambit? And hope it gets rid of Corvus so that you don't get that extra buff mm. every turn. Now, who has the priority here? It is Cat. Mm -hmm. So, Corvus will go bye-bye, and you will lose that energy buff. Now, we have the Gambit play to kill Corvus, as, as Tech said. Here we go. What do we have in the mid? Jubilee to pull. What are we pulling? It's not Hella, because Hella's in his hand. Red Hulk, who procs up to 15 with the unspun unspent energy i think raleigh might be on the ropes a little bit right now she's going to probably proximia in the proxima excuse me on the right and morbius on the left i don't know if this is a game for little raleigh i, I might retreat on this one yes because it looks this... like falcon has the advantage and falcon opponent snapped or she's no it looks like opponent snapped which means falcon gave the snap I think Riley should hit the retreat button right now. I don't think any of these locations really help her. She did not hit the retreat. She goes for it with the Proxima on the right and the Morbius on the left. She's giving up on the mid. She has Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi goes and destroy. Ooh. That card. Wreaks havoc on. And she and snaps, snaps back. back. She snaps back. She but says, Hela, Falcon, but Hela, you need. Who has priority? It, it looks like right now Cat. it is. So it's going yes. to be a problem. Hella, yes. Hella, Hella beats him. Hella beats her here. Oh, no. Hella, Hella on the right, which loses the right. But Hella brings back cards. If it all goes in one lane. Oh, which it looks she like does. it did. She still wins. Get, Get out, out of here. here. Get out of <laughs> it's here right now. Over. Oh, no. Four sleep. Falcon Cat loses. is Raleigh's little daughter. Raleigh's the one that daughter, chats. Yes. Cat plays the game. So yes, Cat call is her little Raleigh. But Raleigh's that is little daughter. daughter. That of is a and w. she takes out Falcon. And she's this on her way to the top amazing. four. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what an underdog story today! Cat comes through and just wrecks Falcon on that last turn. Yes, Falcon taking a picture with Cat, giving her her respect. Guys, she's making a name for herself today at this tournament. She says she is not to be played with. What up, y'all? We're back. That Guys, was insane. This is what it's all about. This is what yes. this tournament is all about. It's yes. about having a great time, great matches, and not feeling any type of no. animosity to anybody. No. I love that the minute they were finished, they went and took a picture together. They took and a picture a and gave a hug. Yes. Wow. Show that love wow. and that respect. So, I'm going to be real with you guys. Me being in cat seat, being a Ceno, I would retreat. <laughs> right, that would look that. Come it on, looked dim. it looked. It was it a wrap. So dim. She snapped back like I'm going to win. She no, when she, she saw it, she said she right in the mid. She was like, no, nope, I'm a gangster. Snap right yeah. back on it. <laughs> like I don't think you understand. So we like that. Don't make any sense. No, because Hella will take over. But the problem was our Hella friend, put everything in the mid. D Man Falcon played Hella on the left, on the right side. And like we said about Hella, you can live by her or die by Hella. Mm -hmm. Hella always does that. That's why to me, when people say nerf Hella, it's like why? Hella is not guaranteed. She is the RNG queen. Mm -hmm. And as we saw there, Hella could Placement not is save. key, right? Placement is key. She Correct. put the infinite in the mid, yes. which screwed Falcon over. But and he moved. But Demon Falcon got his 
Red Hulk Shang Chi, which gave the space for Helen to say to put it in there. That which, was crazy. Honestly, you gotta think about it, bro. That's big brain play by little Riley Cat on that one. She made space for that to happen. If she bro. doesn't Shang Chi on that turn, her playing the no entire space. game out. If you guys saw her playing on Jotunheimer, like why? Her playing on Space Throne, why? That's why. So she can win. Shout out to her. Congratulations. Yes. That match has been phenomenal. Yes. These matches have been bananas. I I, I don't know what to say. I go Nonetheless, <laughs> top four will be announced shortly. Yes. All we know for sure is D-Man Falcon's not in the top four. And R Little Riley, a.k.a. We we'll won't put some respect on her name. Yes. Cat. Cat. Is in the she top is four. Not, she is her own person. She said, my name is Cat. And I'm here to win this tournament. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That means she's going to win some type of money depending on the pool size. Cat, well, great she job. She might have to get through a couple of other people and Flash X right now who's sitting at a 5-0 five, five or 6-0. To, 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 to get the top spot. Yes. But as it stands right now, she's guaranteed some type of money. Yes, right. So That's shout out right. to her and all the other top four players. See, you know, we're having a blast here, buddy. This is awesome. This is great. I've, can we do this every weekend? I, <laughs> I don't know if we can do it every weekend. <laughs> every but weekend. we can do this every month, I feel like. Uh, yeah. Uh, guys, I've talked to so many people out here, man. This has been such a great experience. I've had so much fun over here in Brookland. You guys, if you're in the tri-state area, if you're not, and you want to have a great gaming experience when you come to New York or you come to Brooklyn, come to Brookland, guys. That's right. And just enjoy. The food is great. The drinks are great. Great place to vibe and chill. Uh, yeah, I'm having a blast out here. And nothing speaks Brooklyn like Brookland. That's right. The perfect area out there of course with the amazing art all over the all over the walls of course That's we call right. that graffiti but it is something of awesome nostalgia definitely check out brookland all right guys and brookland is new york's home for esports and gaming 50 pcs and consoles to play on full kitchen cocktail bar open to the public seven days a week and it's also powered by marvel snapcast that's right y'all know the snapcast check out one of the best marvel snap podcasts with Sino and stg the marvel snapcast and we also are supported by marshall base that's right that is your portal to styles of the past and innovations of the present and the possibilities of the future their mission is to make martial arts more accessible now for all those who love playing tekken and love playing all those awesome fighting games like street mm -hmm. fighter you should already be hyped about how combat. amazing martial base will be uh -huh. if it is more accessible to everyone check out the brand new project over at martialbase.com and for this weekend only use the promo code godfist for 10 percent off any shirt any t-shirts on martial base find your style guys today that's right wow this is awesome so now we are just waiting for the rest of the, the final round, yeah. four to get announced. And we will go ahead and proceed. Until then, guys, stick by with us. We're having a good time. That's right. Of course, we'll look at chat, see what's going on in chat right now. And of course, we got Let me check. our wonderful friends, White Wayne Brady. What's going on, buddy? Yes. Don't forget to plug the Cenocast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Ceno to stop that right now. <laughs> Gooey Kablooey, welcome back. It's not far from MD. Maybe you will. You know what? Come on down, Gooey, go Gooey Kablooey. We'll have a good time. Let us know when you're coming. That's right. We'll make sure to meet you and have a get, get you a drink and have a good time. Mm -hmm. Mark Five, welcome in, buddy. We are sipping. That's your favorite right. right now. This is good and stuff. And also shout out to Ligature Marks over there on STG channel doing the modding and just yes, helping us down. Appreciate you, bro. Of course. Mm -hmm. And of course on all the channels that are streaming this, we got That's Brooklyn, right. we have myself, and of course Yipes guys, Yipes, Yipes. Yipes. IFC job. Yipes guys, go check out his channel. He did yes. him and Perry Manilo killed it here earlier doing the casting. Shout out to them also. Shout out to Perry. He's the man. That's right, guys. You guys can learn kickboxing there as well. Fly mm -hmm. Mighty B, thank you for that info. Nonetheless, we know Fly Mighty B is definitely into that martial arts. That's mm -hmm. our resident martial arts guru in the chat. Shout out to my Fly Mighty B, mm -hmm. my guy. But yes, that's right. That is correct. Yipes, definitely put in that work, guys. We did put his wonderful socials in our chat. Make sure you guys mm -hmm. go ahead and follow. We are broadcasting the Yipes. So, Yipes, chat, what up, guys? Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the tournament. That's right. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Appreciate you guys watching. 
That's right. If you guys want to look for us, we're over at the Marvel Snapcast. But of course, you can also find me at Super Tech Guide over on Twitch, and of course, Sino Montana eight two nine. That's right on Twitch. That's this is, right. This has been a great time, Tiger Nato. Welcome into the stream. It's been a great time. We love to see the community come out and embrace their game that they love, which yeah. is Marvel Snap. Mm -hmm. And of course, to see content creators like Gaming Flash playing against people from chat, people from the community. That is the biggest thing we want to see, and it's That's been right. phenomenal. People are enjoying themselves. If you can hear the crowd, but you can't. No. They're laughing, having They're a good cheering. time talking. This is yeah, going hype. <laughs> no animosity. I, I'm I'm impressed, guys. I'm in, I love the turnout. I love the energy. This is the place to be out in Brooklyn. So That's right. Now, nope, it's not over yet, guys. We mm -hmm. definitely have the final four coming up. The top four is coming on in. And we cannot wait to tell you guys who that is. But we know for one fact for sure. Little Riley, aka aka Cat. Is in the top four. We also, right. I'm assuming we know, gaming with Flash, who was five and zero. Oh. Who is on, won, on top of the rankings game? right did now? He's undefeated. He Nobody has taken. Wait, wait. Did he lose his last game? Oh, we don't know yet. Yeah. Okay. Of All right, guys. We are going to take a quick break. Should be about ten minutes or so. Uh, we're gonna find out. Yeah, we're gonna find who out. Those top four is come yes, back. That's right. I'll let you guys know. Stick with us, guys. We'll be right back. Peace.
All right, all right, we're guys, back. we are back. Let's go. I, I want to thank everybody for chilling in chat. Everybody who's on Yipes, everybody who's on STG, just supporting and coming out. I appreciate you guys so much. We are almost at the end, not quite, but almost at the end. This is going to be exciting to cover. Uh, guys, again, just want to remind you that we are at, we are in Brooklyn. At Brooklyn. Yes, Let's at Brooklyn. Land. Let me adjust my thing. Is New York's home for esports and gaming. 50 PCs and councils to play on. Full kitchen and cocktail bar open to the public seven days a week, guys. All right. We are also powered by the Marvel Snapcast. That's right. You guys know it. Check out one of the best Marvel Snap podcasts with Sino and STG. That's right. The Marvel Snapcast. And of course, we are also wonderfully supported by Marshall Base. Your portal to the styles of the past, the innovations of the present, and the possibilities of the future. The mission? To make martial arts more accessible. Check out the brand new project at martialbase.com. For this weekend only, use the promo code GODFIS for 10% off any t-shirts on Marshall Base. Any t-shirt? Any t-shirts. Find your style <laughs> today. <laughs> All right, guys. We're Well, some more than others, but not so much. Now, I will say that I think Kat came in here and just dominated and made a name for herself. She only lost one match, which was to Flash uh, earlier in the day, probably in the second round, I believe it was. Yeah, we're back. So, yeah, I did not expect Kat to come through and make such a statement against all these great Snap players. But uh, talking to her earlier, neither did she until she really got into it and showed that she got the skills to pay the bills yep and now we come to the game we got flash versus d-man falcon flash yeah. is as you guys know content creator over at gaming with flash and of course d-man falcon is always in the chats and in the stg discord battle tournaments now never delay comes up first this is a great location for both players as of course one is playing discord Discord and the other one is playing <laughs> something. You're playing else. Discord? They it got look, an app? I, I, we see Iron Man, we see Scroll, we see Mystique. Yes. This looks like a tribunal oh, card. Right. Cut up. There we go. And if it is a tribunal card, it's the second location yes. as well. Yes. Now we're looking to play Collector on Mojo World, which is going to be interesting. Which is going to be interesting. Okay, we got Deep Space opening up on the right. Ugh. Again, if this is a tribunal card list, this is great for Demon Falcon because Deep Space is not to be, need to be played on. That is very and true. And you have both Mojo World and Never Delare to help out. But don't forget, guys, this card also can play over on Deep Space. Now, it's looking like Demon Falcon switched up his card list throughout this tournament. It looks like he was playing something else, but now he's playing more of a Super Skull Iron Man Iron Lad, which I agree with you, Tech. Reminds me strongly of a Living Tribunal card list. Yeah, well, in, in this tournament, guys, they're all closed card lists. So. If you decide that you want to make a difference, you could definitely switch between rounds. Well, between your matches. That's so right. it's not an issue for him to make the switch, and he did that. But in this tournament, nobody wants to switch because it might break their mojo. I mean, D-Man Falcon used a card list to get here. Why would you change it? But again, he feels going to make his competition. This would be a great look for what him. What a great X-Men reference there, uh, Tech, but with the mojo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what round is this? This mojo. is Love the... It semi-final round that's right winner here goes off to the finals and the loser will face the other loser to see who becomes <laughs> third or fourth now no one here is our losers mm -mm. just keep keep that in mind we just use that reference to describe who plays who that's next. right all right so modok comes down and discards everything including helicarrier give him a whole set of new cards Ooh, and we also got the buff. dracula play in mojo world and the magic on the left Killing the proc from Modok and Proxima. So they will go back down to a 7 and 8, making it 15 on the left. Black Cat gets discarded. 
And here we go. We got 112 to 10 in the mid uh, Mojo world. We can assume that well Falcon will play in the mid. We see Onslaught dropping. So Onslaught now buffs Mojo world. The only That's card right. left is Tribunal. Now you have Iron Lad and you have Jubilee. So if you need to take mm -hmm. a chance, you can pull either Tribunal from Jubilee or now, Tech, of course, do you, from Iron do Lad. You Jubilee or Iron Lad. I mean, one is taking up space on the board, the other is just copying. So in this case, I would definitely oh. play Iron Lad in the mid because you want to hope you can scan that okay. card. So and there he is. You don't need to play it. There Tribunal it is. It Lad. is a Miss Marvel Tribunal card list that Falcon is running right now, <laughs> which I really do think is the advantage in this game due to deep space on the right. That is correct. And it's it's going to be rough for discard list, I think, to compete. It will be. The because he essentially, Falcon is essentially playing for three lanes. And they go a retreat. Yes. From Gaming with Flash, which is smart. Falcon's playing for three lanes, and I think Gaming is playing to try and win two. So it's going to be rough, I think, for a discard with no counters to beat a Tribunal. What do you think? Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, but anything is possible. That's it all depends true. on the locations. That's true. Um, the only person that has something in their card list that could stop Tribunal it's funny enough, we bring her name up again, is Cat. She has Enchantress. Mm -hmm. The only person playing Enchantress and Shang-Chi in a card list is Cat. So so we got Meek playing on Quantum Run, which is going to proc it up all the way to a two from the jump. We have Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. I think this is the first time we've seen Howard the Duck all tournament. With my boy Tussin. Tussin, where you Tussin? at? Tussin, <laughs> we got Howard out here. And we got Meek being procced up to two over there. We have Sinister London procking in the mid. Which is really, really good for Falcon, if you think about it, with the double Iron Mans. But he does not pull the Iron Man yet. We have Ravona played, which procs up the Raptors. Which, if you're Falcon, really doesn't matter to you because you're you're, you're playing for all three lanes. That is correct. And the way I look at it, this is a great play here. You go ahead and play that in the mid. You're hoping you pull Apoc. Because you pull Apoc, you put two Draculas over there. Mm -hmm. You get Apoc, you should be good to go. The snap come down from the one and only demon falcon that's right because he's hoping he can pull the cards he needs that's right he has the onslaught he has miss marvel he but miss marvel doesn't work on the right he needs magic there goes the double iron man iron man goes right that's a problem for you okay goes left goes left which you almost wish you would have played there right but you know since london is definitely better it's almost like you played iron lad you would have gotten four Iron Man. You, know, you get what I'm saying? Correct. Now, here comes the fun part here. The way you look at it is now Corvus comes down in two lanes, completely obliterating your card list. But, of course, that Helicar will bring something back. So, let's see what happens. This Corvus play is intriguing to me because... Well, he's hoping it hits the Proxima and the Swarm, don't you think? Uh, or the Helicar. It will hit everything. You get two yeah. Corvus. It will hit everything. Yes. So... The only problem That's is. That's true. You're right. It the only problem is. Cards. The Ooh, only problem is your you're lane. filling the right. Your lanes are going to be in a filled problem. up. Yeah. So he's so, going to have an unlimited amount of swarms. He's not going to get much from Helicarrion due to the fact that he has three swarms in his hand already. So he's going to get what? Oh no, he didn't discard the last Helicarrion for some reason because it hit swarm twice. Yes. Now he's hoping for Apoc to show up. The problem is with that is you gotta get the swarms out of your hand. That's right, and that's not possible at this current moment. Which he gets Morbius, which probably is a bet, probably the better. Well, Limbo was played, so you have a turn seven. Nothing yet, White Wayne Brady. We have turn six right now. The Limbo kind of messed it up a little bit. Like I said, the Limbo, even the other location, messed it up as well because. You filled your board up. Yes. This is going to be tough for you. I mean, you're hoping that you can either get Apoc, which will help you because Dracula will proc and hit it twice. Yes. Or Onslaught in the mid, proccing up to 52. He really wanted Scissors to London for that Onslaught, let me tell you. Uh, okay, we have Onslaught in the mid. What do you do now? Do you... Do you, uh, you Mystique miss on the other Iron Man. Okay, Mystique. Because it gives you two on slots. Yes. With agreed. Iron Man. And the, plot, and the plus two from Quantum Realm. Correct. Uh, if, you're <laughs> if you're Flash, you retreat. Not yet, because you can you also... You cannot win the right, and you cannot win the mid. So you retreat, in my opinion. He already filled his right. He can't win the mid. There's nothing he's going to do to win mid. Well, retreat. Well, here it is. You haven't lost the right yet. 
cards have to be pulled. So That's if true. if the only thing the problem here will be the left lane. That's so you true. have to really think about this. That is true. I'm a little worried for my boy Flash right now. My boy Falcon has kind of got the upper hand here. Flash is thinking hard too, guys. Down comes Modok, which will give the buff to both Collector and, and Morbius. Morbius. Yes. So this is his smart play. Was the only shot. I don't know if it beats 52 in the mid. It does not. He still has the right. What does Falcon play here? He played two cards. What did he play? He played the Mystique. Mystique to copy the onslaught, which wins the left. No, it does not. Nope. Oh, Miss Marvel does buff it. does not. Wait, it's on Onslaught. It does win the left. I told you. The Onslaught with Miss Marvel wins the left. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, wait. It's not over. It's not over. It is by over now. Two it is over. By two on the left, guys. That, that got sweaty best, real quick. That was the best play. That got sweaty in the that last was second. The best <laughs> real play. quick. Look at the two <laughs> acknowledging each other, letting each other know that that was crazy ending right there. Flash got really close on the left. That was his only play. His best play was to go ahead and proc those two and hope. And it was close. It was very close. That, that was Ms. Marvel. insane. Miss Marvel did the top. <laughs> So now we start with Westview, which could turn to a new location after turn four. And dog, you are absolutely right. Gross last turn here. Oh, my. <laughs> Bar Sinister is also a great location for Corvus and the Collector. So here, right now, Demon Falcon has some things to think about. He cannot fill up those lanes. I mean, he could play Iron Man there and Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, but there's nothing for him. Nope. So Magic is definitely coming down in the middle. That's the only play I see happening mm -hmm. from Demon Falcon. Because if you are playing your Tribunal, you have the nuts and the bolts here. You can have Magic for the turn 7. Yep. You have the Onslaught and you have the Iron Man. Nuts All that is missing is, of course, <laughs> the Tribunal, which is the bolt. Man, I can't talk to Sino <laughs> about nothing. Hey, my man got the, the nuts, nuts and the bolts. bolts. <laughs> All right, buddy? Jeez. Jeez Louise. Oh, Magic play on Westview. So it's fair to say now that is Limbo. Bar Sinister in the mid with Monster Metropolis on the right. Meek there chilling. All right. So we've only seen Magic played on that side of the board. We have Blade, Collector, Proxima, and Meek on, excuse me, Flash's side. At this point, Flash is really thinking about other strategies to win here. The problem becoming you have nothing to stop what he wants Ooh, to bring and this is iron lad jubilee. Pull it, jubilee jubilee will pull what wave wave it is good call you called that of course all right so now you have modok and corvus i think you play corvus here um that is your best bet if you're falcon i think i play miss marvel on the mid or he could go for the iron man now miss marvel next turn and so demon falcon coming down with the snap this is going to be interesting flash yes. should decide if he wants to leave or not it's a very tough situation he's he's in and yes i agree this car this is not match well with the tribunal no most discards don't without hella right that's right white wing brady he did not big doggy dog he did not the way it works you can definitely switch up. There is it is a closed card list, so That's you right. can switch up after the rounds. I get it. It might feel somebody very bad. has not played, and they okay. So they Flash retreat. retreats. He is not going to continue. He is on the ropes right now, guys. Demon Falcon with no losses in this battle, and gaming with his last three lives. This is rough. This is rough for our boy Flash. He is on the ropes. Now, Flash had a great start today. He went undefeated up until that match we casted with our Timmy. boy Timmy. That's right. And that really put Timmy ahead and kind of hurt Falcon. It seems like his, his momentum is down. Of course. I mean, he came in here with the plan to run this card. And this card just can't get big enough. Well, this this card cannot get big enough to overpower the Tribunal. Yes. The so, Flash is definitely hoping 
mm-hmm. for location help here. Mm-hmm. And as it stands right now, Lemuria yeah. and, and Baxter, Baxter building, building in the mid does not help him. No. What what is the third location though? That might help him. Let's see. I agree with Wayne Brady, but let's see if the third location is World Ship. <laughs> That might not be the best for our boy Falcon. All right. There we go. We got the collector. With the new backs to build and buff, which gives plus four to the location, not just plus three. Nope. Shout out to Fantastic Four. Makes yes. sense. Yes. To get plus four. Now, Danger Room comes down. Your best bet, you know, Magic is going to go ahead and play. <sighs> I feel like the advantage Danger is again Falcons. He doesn't have to play on Danger Room if he doesn't want to. He does not. The magic play not to take out danger room but to take out the left oh lamoria i believe was the location oh my goodness makes sense because at this point you win back to building you win danger room you don't have to yep. worry about playing on danger room since you have tribunal you go ahead and put points across the board now he does have the nuts and the bolts in his hand right now iron man down on five onslaught down on six that's right tribunal down on i mean seven but this is now turn five and he has Iron Lad, Wave, and Howard the Duck. Iron Lad coming down with Howard the Duck would make sense over on Limbo. Because like I said, 5, 6, 7 gives you the nuts and the bolts. I'm going to start putting my phone on side. <laughs> we definitely have some great ego games. I want more ego games as well, chat. Yes. <laughs> All right. In comes the copy of Mystique copying Iron Man, doubling up Iron Man in the mid. Once that onslaught hits, it's over. At that moment, I think the man has the victory. Once he drops that onslaught, you, you will 100% retreat. Yes. He does not play onslaught. He plays Tribunal first, which to me, just to let him know, <laughs> it is a wrap. <laughs> retreat now, he yes. says. Yes. Here we go. Living Tribunal being played in the mid on Baxter Building. I don't know if flash will get the victory here guys he got proxima to proc uh to get discarded and go on the field uh, i don't like this if i am gaming i might want to live to fight another day even though it's looking pretty pretty bad what do you think definitely crazy definitely crazy i think at this point you're gonna have to eat yeah retreat. yeah there's there's no way of winning this or you could just or lose play out. it out yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just lose out. It's depending on how he feels. He, he's giving this type of nod, like he's accepting his fate nope. at this moment. The nod is for the music he's listening to. Oh, that's the vibing it. in his ear. Okay, all right, that makes sense. I, I, I kind of think it's a, it's, it's a nod of acceptance. It's, it's like your man, smooth up. Welcome in the chat, buddy. Smooth up. What's this, going on, buddy? This is one of the tournaments that we are hosting over at the Marvel Snapcast. That's right. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Shout out to also Marshall Base. Yes. So. What's going down now is onslaught in the mid. That just makes it. Yeah, he's just walking over. It's yeah, over. it's over, guys. All this right. one is finished. Gaming knew this was over. He knew that this guard wouldn't match up to the living tribunal, so he was nodding in acceptance. It looks like that is our match. Falcon takes the victory and essentially knocks out gaming with Flash X, who put up a great, great fight today, guys. He was undefeated for most of the day. The only, well, not the only one, but mo uh, one of the few that were. Yes. That's and, right. And look, anything can happen towards the late rounds, guys. Anything can happen. And it looks like Falcon took him out. So Falcon moves on. Yeah, so Falcon now will play the winner between Timmy and Cat to determine our number one and number two. And Flash will play the loser That's of right. Cat and Timmy to determine our number three and number four. That's and that right. will end this wonderful tournament this wonderful awesome time we're having here but don't go away we will be right back with that final setup ladies and gentlemen thank you for sticking it out and almost getting there to the end that's right
Alright, we're back guys. It's the finals. That's right, live. It's time, it's the time, it's the final right. countdown. <laughs> That's right, live in Brooklyn from Brooklyn. That's right. That's right. Located in Brooklyn, New York, of course, Brooklyn is New York's home for esports and gaming. Fifty PCs and consoles for you to play and a full kitchen. Cocktail bar open to the public seven days a week. Alright, guys, we are powered by Oh, we're going right into it. All right, it, you know what? Sorry, let's you do guys it. have heard us say that three times. You should probably know what we're saying. All right, let's Here go. Here goes the match. Timmy versus D-Man Falcon. Falcon. Let's go. Countdown comes in. We have the discard coming from D-Man. He switched up his card list. Yep. Back to the Sandman versus the move. I mean, this yes. makes more sense. Move oh, being shut down. We have a discussion happening right now. <laughs> we got some discussioning. What do you think is going on here? I think they're upset that he went with the Sandman on the move deck and the, oh. the Tribunal <laughs> on the other deck. But you know what? There dirty is, Pool, he's calling. He's not doing anything wrong, guys. He's calling Dirty he Pool. He can do as he please. He saw Timmy's deck earlier, pause, and he definitely thinks he can counter it with the Sandman. Wow. Electro and Hulk being discarded right now by Corvus. 
with the Mega Sonic being played by Timmy in the mid. I mean, Nova Rome is a great location, but Elysium is so good. Mm -hmm. And then Atlantis come now. These are three great locations. None of these are any negative to your card list. That's right. So down we go. The Iron Fist looking now, to move some cards. Granted, he does not have around. Sandman, but if Sandman is played, Elysium goes to nothingness because it doesn't matter. You can only play one card. Yeah, but uh, the way I look at it, if Timmy can get his cards moving around before Sandman drops on five, mm -hmm. that turn six play is all he needs to do is play okay, home. Okay, but down. gets pulled here by Jubilee on Elysium. Mag is it Sandman? Nope, yeah. it is Magneto, and Jubilee gets destroyed by Negasonic. We have Atlantis on the right, guys, with Human Torch procking up there, going up to a seven, but being moved into the mid by Iron Fist, going up to four, Beast beasting it all back, bouncing all that love right back to the hand with a cost reduction. Now, if Sandman is played, it is not in his hand. So sorry, we have the Hella play here, guys. So Falcon has Hella. We have the Beast and the, ne oh, excuse me. We have Negasonic being played, Hercules being played, and Iron Fist punching the Human Torch over to the left. So the way I see it here is you wait for Hella, because at this point you will bring back everything on the last turn. But now, Here's where things get real interesting. This is really bad if Timmy doesn't destroy something over on right. It looks like Negasonic might have the right locked down. He's going to play home, though. So the right that is That is left. true. That is true. Oh, we Hella have chirping. We have chirping. This is exciting. Yeah, we have talk, chirping going talk, back and forth. Talking smack. I yes, love it. let's go. <laughs> Neither opponent wants to lose this. They want that prize money, guys. The energy is hot in here, guys. It comes down to the final plays of this game. Hella comes down, Ooh, brings play. back everything yes. that was discarded. Red Hulk on the right on Atlantis. We have Electro in the mid with Ronin. Ronin not parking up that far, but Red Hulk gets the buff from Timmy. Now with Cloak going down, he can't move anything. But, of course, the one and only can move any cards he wants. That's right. He is the move player. This is a great play for him. Now, do I move Hercules, then move Human Torch? Mm, that's a good or question. Or do I move Dagger and Human Torch? This is so many. There's so many. Or Vulture. There's so many I, I, options I here. think Demon leaves. There's no way he stays in here. Oh, and it looks like he did hit the retreat later. There's no way he stays in here. He yeah, cannot win this. He did hit the retreat. The mid is done. Yeah, yes. there it is. And I got... They, see, that's there right. He gave... Timmy there gave him the... That's right. That's right. <laughs> Timmy said, I ain't scared of no ghosts, my friend. Yeah. Don't come in here and try to bring this car list against me. Oh, Sandman? Oh, no. Sandman who? D-Man Falcon. Okay, D-Man Falcon. He said, you know what? There's only two lives. I don't give it. I don't give an S. You know what I mean? I, well, we're here. I don't give a shit. I'm going to play cautiously, and I'm going to retreat here and live to fight another day. Ken, what do you think? I think the best thing here to do is... Be surprised. That's right. Oof. Because District Oof. X will change oh your my card God. list in the oh blink of your eye. Oh, my God. Here's the best part. I did not know this until right now. Wait. Timmy uh -huh. has Enchantress in his card list. Ooh. Sandman can be destroyed. Disengaged. Yes, he can on. be. Five. Here we go. Oh my guys, gosh. I don't you guys can't hear this, but the crowd outside is going wild right now. Speaking of the crowd, ladies and gentlemen, we are graced by his presence, Dara. Dara has is showed in up the building to baby. watch the finals. Dara's having a good time. Front row seat watching the finals. That's right. Shout out to Dara for coming down to Brooklyn. Brooklyn's very own Dara. Love it. That's right. Okay, this match is getting real tricky now. We have District X. Nobody so snaps. Hercules play on the mid on Starlight Citadel. Because don't forget, again, it goes back to the nuts and bolts. Mm -hmm. And Timmy has the nuts. Ooh, we got the starry-eyed Corvus Glaive right there. Timmy, a big fan. Then giving the dap up. And the Red Guardian. Oh, we pull Rock Slide to the mid with Hercules praying. I think he wished that Hercules would have been procced first. But I don't think that matters much. Not at all. Okay. We are having an emote battle here, guys. I know you can see in the far corners of their names, but we are having a Red Guardian emote, uh, Iceman emote. We're just we're just emoting like crazy. That's right. Pumping live. There was here pumping live, guys. That's right. Pump, pump it up. All right. So, like I said, the nuts and the bolts are in his hand. He just has to play Hamdel, move everything. Things will get punched around by Hercules, buffing and buffing. 
but you still have to play other cards. So with District X coming down, this is turn five. Your last turn coming in right now is oh. six. And like I said, you play Humdil right now. You can give you can give two shits about the right lane. That's right. You play Humdil on the middle or the left, and victory could be yours. All right, let's see what happens here, guys. He goes and plays the Venom with, of course, the card we spoke about earlier, the wonderful Winter Soldier. Here we go. Now the Heimdall will proc up the Human Torch over there to the left. Oh, he moves Heimdall out, puts it on District X. And the snap's down, guys. It's the final turn. Nobody's retreating. No, we There's are going for four right here. Demon is thinking about he this does. This is brave. Hit the button and wait. Okay, Venom killing Bucky Barnes, turning Bucky Barnes into a five. Oh four. Fourteen me. mid. Negative two, not negative one. Into does not help four. him. Wait. Oh. oh wait, but that's it not enough. It should have went to the other that lane. That is not enough. We are sorry, buddy. That is not enough. You were hoping Falcon for the gets mid. The win. That was a tough one, guys. That was a close yes. one. It's not going to be any easy games here, guys. Mm -mm. It's going to come out to the wire. These two are going to put it in. And, and no Sandman play. No, for two X, games. District X showed up. Yeah. No Sandman, game for, no Sandman play for two games, which is kind of helping Timmy right now. That's right. The fact that... That's BS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fact that Falcon can't get uh, our boy breaker, yeah. Sandman out is kind of playing to a disadvantage. Again... At the end of the day, no matter what you got in your hand, no matter what card list you put to go up against the other card list, you got to draw those cards. Without the wonderful, the old school classic American Chavez, yeah. nothing is guaranteed. So I'm kind of amazed that Falcon's in the lead here. He is doing it without Sandman. And okay, we got the d discard of Doom and Red Hulk on Washington, D.C. We got Savage Land on the left, guys. We are playing Hercules on Washington C with Avengers Compound on the right. Yeah, because your best turn here to do is on turn five, play of course Iron Fist and Human Torch on the right side, getting that was buff. That, a snap? that was a snap. That was a snap. That was a snap. So I'm assuming Falcon snapped because Timmy did not look happy about it. I could be wrong though. Okay, we have the blade discarding Electro on. There we go on Washington DC, but we have Hercules playing so here you on go. the Craven. So like I said, here's what he does. He should play, of course, the Iron Fist yes. Human Torch combo. Yes. And then play or then play that. Yep. Then play to pull it back. Yes. Ooh, well he's playing wee. Vulture, Let's not go. Human Torch. With Dexter with the raid. Dexter, thank you for the raid, buddy. Let's go. We got Dexter in the raid. We got Dara outside watching yes, the finals. Yes, in the in the building. PK, welcome in. Everybody, welcome in. All Raiders, welcome in. We're here enjoying this amazing finals match out in Brooklyn. Yes. Hosted by your show, tomorrow with Snapcast. That's and, of right. course, supported by Marshall Base. And here we go, guys. Iron Fist, like we That's said, right. to the Vulture. Put a Vulture Punches. in the middle. Yep. And then Hercules says, go somewhere else. After Get giving the buff here. to Craven. To the left, which is what... Kind and then he needed. pulls it with Ghost Spider. Pulls it back to the right, guys. Okay. Oh, no. Now we know there is no Shang-Chi. Magneto pulls the Hercules to the right also. This is interesting because now we're in tiebreaker. Oh, no. Final turn. Yes, Excuse me. Dara is outside enjoying the Yes. Finals. Vibing with everybody out here. So we're going to have the Intentress play with the Cloak play. I don't know. So he knows he has to think about this. Ronin. I don't know if he knows Ronin is in him. He knows Ronin is in his card list. He knows he cannot win the right lane. So Ronin has to be played either mid or the left. And he plays oh, on the same lane. Oh, Ronin goes right. It looks like, well, it Ronin's wasn't Ronin. his hand. It, it wasn't Ronin. It was, it was Hella. Hella. Hella is played. Dr. Doom is proc. Red Hulk also oh. on the left. Oh, my God. Washington, D.C. and Timmy Savage Land. Is Whoa. By Demon Falcon, he Falcon is, is the, the winner. winner. Let's go, Falcon. You are the champion. Let's go of the Brooklyn Snap Tournament. Hosted by Marvel Snapcast and Supported Marshall Base. Supported by Marshall Base. Yes. Wow, what a matchup. What it came out to the white What signal. just happened? I was shocked to see what, what happened. Just there go the happened. two yes. combatants sitting there talking. Talking it out. Showing about what was going on. What he was thinking about. Demon Falcon in the chats, guys. I know you guys seen him in chat. Always interacting yes. with everybody. And, of course, Timmy also in chat. And this let's is not great. forget, 
Falcon was in the finals of the Discord uh, championship that you had thrown. So know, he is, is not nothing to be played with. So course. he came in here and redeemed himself from that loss. Yes. And came in here in Brooklyn and won the tournament here. That's right. In this real is life. insane. This is phenomenal. And of course, everybody else is out there hanging out. Yes. All the other content creators and one of the people in the community. This has been a great great time oh man Some we had a blast matchups. yes if you guys are just coming in for the first time definitely check out the vibe when it goes live but wow what matchups we had oh, shout out man. to brooklyn and their staff yes. there goes brooklyn there staff. goes brooklyn there go staff to right there yeah. shout out to T.O. making things run as smoothly as he did possible. a great job today Ooh. made everything run as smoothly as possible kept everybody updated shout out to you my friend that was awesome. That was Guys, so what up? We're yo, back. that was insane. Let's go. Yes, this is just... Falcon is the champ, yo. This was the WrestleMania before the WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> what a matchup. That was intense. I that was sweat. I, I can't wait to go out there and give these guys a great, yes. great, great, great shout out for what they've done. Yes. Again, you guys see them in the chat all the time. We're going to definitely shout them out once we get in there. But yeah, shout out to the producer doing the job. The voice is in our heads. Yes. He is killing it right now. That's right. You guys see the, you see the production value? Very oh awesome. Very great cutscenes. Very guys. great updates. I guys. love this. Shout out to Brooklyn yes. one more time. We got to shout out to Brooklyn. We yes. got to say why we shout out to Brooklyn. Yeah, that's because right. Brooklyn is New York's home for esports and gaming f with 50 PCs and consoles to play on full kitchen and, and cocktail, cocktail bar. bar yeah. And it's not open just one, two, three, four, or five days a week. No. Oh. It's open seven, seven. days a week yes. for you guys to have your wonderful enjoyment and the best place to come and play these games. That's and of right, course, guys. it is powered by the one and only Marvel Snap Cast. Right. Guys, check out one of the best. Marvel Snap Podcast with Sino, your boy, Top 5, and STG, the variant god, the Marvel Snapcast. Not only that, but it is supported by Marshall Base. That's right. Your portal to the styles of the past, the innovations of the present, and the possibilities of the future. The mission, of course, is to make martial arts more accessible. Check out the brand new project at MarshallBase.com. For this week and only, of course, use the promo GODFIST Fist. for 10% off any t-shirts on Marshall Base. Find your style, ladies and gentlemen, today. Any t-shirt? Any t-shirt. That's right. Let's go. What a great time we had here. Shout out to our first casters, Yipes and Perry Mano. Yes, they putting in that work. They bodied it earlier That's right. today. That's Getting right. the energy going for this wonderful tournament. Shout out to all the people that came out and played from all around the tri-state. Shout out to everybody. I'm, I'm glad everybody was safe from that earthquake we had yesterday to be, up, be able to come out and enjoy a great time. That's and right. And play the game we all love. Marvel, Marvel Snap. Snap. Thank you so much to everybody out there who was in Yipes chat and STG's chat showing mad love and support. Thank you to everybody who raided to show support. Yes, appreciate uh, you guys. Yes, we appreciate you so much. You guys, without you guys, we are not here doing this, so we appreciate you. Um, yeah, this was awesome, man. This I had a great, great time I may, here, I bro. I may do this every week. I almost don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> may do this every week. Um, but guys, really, yes, we do shout out to you guys. We did do this for you guys. We love the community so much. We want to make sure you guys have a place to come and enjoy and meet up and be safe doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's having a good time. Yep. People came out with their kids, their family members, everyone. And again, Brooklyn is perfect place to be to do all of that so so you know i mean listen we're gonna go out and congratulate our yes. winners chat if yes. you guys just came in on the raids if you like what you see you love what you hear hit that follow button that's right if you're over on snipes channel uh, yipes channel yipes as well channels. yes and you just came in from any raid of course hit that follow button that's for right. yipes and i can't wait to see you guys in the that's next right. stream and if you're in stg's channel follow yipes if you're in yipes channel follow stg both these guys great streamers and and go on twitter awesome. And yes. follow Brooklyn. That's right. And Marshall and Base. Brooklyn and Marshall <laughs> Base. Shout out to them. Thank you so much. Uh, this was awesome, bro. I had such a great time. Uh, I love it. I'm from Brooklyn. So I, I both take. Both of us, yeah. Uh, yeah, both of us are from Brooklyn. And we take pride in our borough. And we're just happy we have a spot to come through and game safely and, and eat great food and just chill and vibe with friends, man. This has been insane. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks again. I uh, am the top five best <laughs> snappers in the world. Sino, 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 Sino. And he is the STG, the Super Tech God, a.k.a. the Super Variant God. Why? Because we have every variant in the game. Every variant? Every variant. Damn right. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Peace.